seen a spooky heckin' alien on this ship, guys. Did anybody hear anything about that? <laughs> God, that's horrible. God, that's, that is really horrible. Did you cleanse the world of another dark soul today? Aha! He said it! He said it! <gasps> oh, it's L1! <gasps> oh! Okay! Turns out parrying is flipping awesome! sure there's enough wieners okay there needs to be enough wieners for people goodness. Benny, you did not just say I wish I was hungover. <laughs> no. Long, long ah, here. <laughs> Can't stay off to work, but have an awesome stream. Thank you, Fear. Have an awesome day at work. Thank you so much. Thank you for the 28 months. I love you. Platonically, but also sexually, if that's okay. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm really, really hungover. Um, it wasn't the, the, pl the plan, right? When Nikki's involved, the plan doesn't usually go to plan. The plan was to go out for a nice little walk yesterday go into town and get some lunch and then walk home, just enjoy the sun. Uh, what the plan devolved into was going for a walk, then going to Weatherspoons, drinking at Weatherspoons for about five hours and then coming back to mine and drinking for another five hours. <laughs> so it just, it just happens. We just have to roll with it. I'm just resetting my goals because uh, that should say one and not three. Um, but yeah, how are you doing? Hello, happy Friday. Remember to get your points in for the, uh, b -b 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 what would this be under? Sub goal? No, it's not. Remember to get your points in for the community challenge. 
because that'll be heckin' awesome. Is it this one? Hello. Oh, hello, Betty! Yes, I Yays. really do wish I was hungover. COVID has finally got me. Oh, you've got COVID. Oh, no, I thought you were meaning... I thought you meant that you were, like, avoiding the pubs because COVID? Like, the threat of getting COVID? Oh, no. Ah, oh, we'll just keep it at three. It's fine. It can be three. No, Benny. I'm coming back to the window. Here we go. Oh, my God, that was 30 months. Holy crap, thank you so much for the resub, Benny. I hope you feel better soon. You need one of these. You need one of these. <laughs> hello, Early Crew. Hello, Doggo. Hello, Scott. Hello, Damien. Hello, Twiggy. Hello, God, it is. It was flipping late for Twiggy. As in late in the day. Uh, hello, Sir Digby. Hello, Spinel. Benny, of course. Hello, hope you feel better soon. Anna currently in a meeting. Nando's in a meeting as well. Hello guys. Hello. Hello Vicky. <gasps> Eat bunger. I wish I had a bunger. Little, little heckin' bug snacks. Spinel. Fear, thank you so much again for the resub. I hope you have a good day at work. Happy Friday, Mick. How are you? Did the walk home become a stagger home? No, we proper like power walked home. It was crazy. It was a, it was a spontaneous swally. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh god, this isn't gonna fizz up, is it? No, we're fine. We're in the clear. We're in the clear. <gasps> Cam, lots of water. So I got water and I got glucose juice. <laughs> you say devolved, I say graduated. <laughs> oh man. Got you on in the back for dinner type spaghetti bolognese, Twiggy. Winning, winning. Uh, so Digby, our community challenge this month, or this summer I should say, is an Elden Ring community challenge. So it's gonna be played on PC and on PS5. I am the Pokemon trainer and everyone I summon is my Pokemon. So you have to cosplay a Pokemon. Uh, the, the, the worst, the worst, the best. Uh, just, just, we're gonna have fun with it, it'll be silly. Um, I'm actually gonna like launch straight into Elden Ring because I'm so hungover and I feel like I've got no power. But we've got so much to do today in, in, the, in the level one run, so. This always happens when Nikki and I get together, Vicky. It's definitely Nikki's the bad influence, yeah. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Hi, Abs. I'm here. You're here. Let's go. Hi, Pixie. Hi, Nevi. Welcome in. I don't know how Twitch works. Why am I getting points? You get points for free just by watching. Oh, I don't have captions on. <gasps> yeah, you get points for free and you can spend them on silly things. <laughs> Tested positive on Tuesday. I don't feel too bad. I just want to go for a beer. Okay, well, well, 10 days. Give it 10 days, Benny. And you'll be right as rain. Yeah. Rex, yeah, we're sobering up and we're going, shop we're going shopping. Who wants to go shopping? I have like a crazy shopping list for you today. If anyone is interested in the sort of theory crafting and the puzzle solving element behind like a Soulsborne challenge run, this is the part that I like flip and love, but especially with Elden Ring, because this is only my second playthrough. I don't know the game. I don't know the game, like, at all. So I've had to do a lot of, like, work behind the scenes. I've been pretty much sitting here since, like, about half past eight this morning, working on it, and, and, and now it's, like, time to go live. So it's, like, still got loads to do. But we're gonna do that today. Uh, P.E., I'm buried under a mountain of work, so I'll be lurking like a prune. I'm lurking like a prune in the rot, with your tail in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, McPe. I hope the work goes swiftly. Tony Collette says, "Top of the morning, top of the top of the morning to you, Tony. How are you doing today, pal?" Fifteen vodka iron brews, please, Bard Cave. Oh my God, they, I don't think they would sell me a vodka iron brew here in Newcastle. Mm -hmm. I'm in the middle of Genshin Impact hype at the moment. There's a a direct happening. Oh, yeah, I like Genshin abs. I do like it. Hi, Refib. I need a glass bottle of brew. Oh my god, that'd be so good. Oh, oh, that'd be so good. I've got this though. This will do. <laughs> I also have this, guys. This is a chocolate brownie. So that will half a chocolate brownie. So that'll be good too. I, Damien, I am totally innocent and totally blameless. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Look, Zaid Mick, you have to get the orange one. That's the only thing. You have to get the orange one. Uh, oh, Damien would like a Zelda pickup line. Here's your pickup line. I don't just like you. I like like you. Wholesome. Uh, and Brad would like a Lord of the Coats. Regulars, two already. I'm on 17. Huh? I'll have no pointy ear outscoring me. 19. 19. 
<laughs> I love Legolas and Gimli so much, man. <laughs> Hi, McKenna. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Hi, Eowyn. Oh my god, Daniel, how are you today? It's good to see you. I'm sitting here watching on the highest quality. What do I need to? Oh, there you go. There you go. Uh, so, Digby, I love you. Here's my prime sub. I probs won't hang around, but you're awesome. Oh, it would have been nice if you'd hung around, but I get it. People have things to do with their day. Hey, thank you very much for the prime, Sir Digby. Thank you. If you want the like alert to go off and for it to count towards our daily sub goal, uh, just refresh the stream and then you'll get a little box that t comes up saying share and then anything you type in that box will like get read out on stream. It's up to you, you don't have to but it's just if you wanted to. Uh, <laughs> how are you doing Brad? Hello? We're gonna like literally I'm just gonna go straight into Elden Ring because I'm, I'm so flipping tired. <laughs> so I've done a few things uh, since last time and uh, just while we're chatting here I'm gonna I'm gonna head round to the next thing on the list. Being so hungover that you transition into anti-banter. That's just me anyway. Does that mean I'm always hungover? Bar recalled their glass bottles of brew recently because they overdid the gas and the pop the caps were popping off. That's quite funny. Got a weird sense of humor, but that's quite funny. Ping has punk. Cool, I can close Discord then because it's distracting because all of y'all are sexy. Chocolate brownie envy is real. Oh, I wish I could give you some, Eowyn. I would I would definitely share. Here we go, I'm looking for this nerd. Uh, so, this um, Knight's Cavalry, apparently, you can get him to just run off the edge. So let's give that a go. It's probably like, <gasps> oh. there you go, Digby, there you go. It's up. Easy to do. <laughs> yes, I did it. Yes, Sorry, I Twitch is so confusing, but again, love you so much, heart. Heart. <laughs> Thank you so much for the six months. Thank you. Oh, oh, sh oh wow, that's a one shot. Ah, oh, I wasn't really watching the screen to be fair. <laughs> hi, young at heart. Happy Friday. How are you? Oh my God, you in? Hi. You need a lawn sausage and a black pudding roll. I've had a chicken, a sweet chili chicken panini that was good. Um, that was good. Um, Mike had a sausage and bacon. Oh, I need to. Oh man, the only problem with like dying to a knight's cavalry is that it advances time. Oh, that's so sad. So sad. Past time. Still nightfall. Yep. I did know McKenna was coming to DRQCon. I think that's very, very cool, Vicky. Actually, yeah. It's it's a shame, obviously, that we're not getting Dan, because Dan is cool, I suppose. But like McKenna's cooler, so it's fine. Our our win, really. Dan's loss, our win. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait. So they, do they just not do glass iron brew now? I've got great banter, Benny. I, I don't feel like I do today, though. I feel like today's gonna really struggle for bands. Like, right? Can I convince you to to? Here we go. So he comes over there, and then we jump over here. Oh, maybe you have to like tease him. There's a message there. I wonder if that's what the message is about. I probably definitely need to be on torrent. Oh! Can I convince you to just... I probably have to jump up here, right? I didn't really look at how to do it. <laughs> Hi, easy. Welcome in. They do. Oh, they do. Okay, they do do them. Okay, I've just like... Lo ah! I've just lost him, so. I want to, him to die, but I also don't want to actually have to fight him because he's hard. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, no. It was bound to happen. It was bound to happen because double jumps and Elden Ring, it was gonna happen. It's fine. We used to sell the 1902, 1901, 1901, was it 1902? <sighs> In the glass bottles. Yeah, I, until very recently, had one of the bottles on my window ledge because I just thought it was a pretty bottle. What a death! I know I'm panicking. I'm panicking. So the reason I want to kill this black knight, well he's called Knight's Cavalry, um, is because he drops an ash. Hi Charlie! He drops the, um, the Bloodhound Step Ash, something that I will definitely need for one boss in particular. <clears throat> You know the one, um, and something that will definitely, I think, be useful for a lot of other bosses if I get the hang of using it. So I really want this ash. Um, 
But apparently you can apparently you can tease him off the edge, but maybe it's patched, maybe he doesn't do it anymore. There's a note here. Why is it always decoy? Yes, we go. Ah! <laughs> there must be a way. So if I sit here and then I like jump up the, the ledge, he maybe steps off. That could be maybe it. That, that could be it. I saw how gorgeous you actually are when the highest quality setting was working. That's really that's really sweet thing to say, Spinel. I am pretty gorgeous most days, but I wouldn't say I was today, really. <laughs> Is there another way to kill that knight? Just running up the hill through the poisony things? Running up the hill? Wait, so like, would they then attack the knight? That's a good idea, Mick. Where are you on the map? Yeah, so this is just over here. So it's up the top of Caled, Benny. Um, and it's like this, you'd have to go down. Um, there's a spirit spring here. You can sort of jump down and then get over here. Hi, Dave. Good afternoon. Hello. Did I lose those runes? I mean, I don't need them, but I don't want to lose runes. Okay, pal. Okay. Right, let's try this again. Here he come. Whoa! So he's coming over here. <laughs> he's so scary. I don't know if I have the reaction time for this, man. Oh. I need to like warm up. I need to like, I'm too hungover. Mmm. <laughs> Hello, whiskey. Welcome in to the Friday stream. It's gonna be a long stream. And a painful stream for me, but hopefully entertaining for you. The second it starts getting painful for you, you guys let me know and we'll go play Pokemon or something. Kappa. We won't. <laughs> I ran past that dude because I had no health, no flasks, and a beck. A beck ton? <laughs> Is that like a like a heck ton, but not so rude? <laughs> um, but yes. Uh, he actually drops an ash. A really good ash. Uh, definitely very useful for Melania. So I'll go here, and then I'm gonna- <gasps> I need to go even faster than that? Bloody hell, okay. I thought I was going pretty fast. I think it might have been patched, but you used to be able to make it follow you up the hill and then through the poison things. Oh yeah, the little, like, there are little things on the ground. Hi, Dan, look at this nerd. Look at him. <laughs> Dan is awake, he's always sleepy. Wait, Dan has work. It's Friday. <laughs> Hi, Daz. I'm 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 not great. I'm afraid I'm not great. I'm hungover. But it was the sign of a really good day, um, last night. So oh, I just skipped. Oops, I just skipped. Wow, Bobby just like slept through a whole day. <laughs> he was really sleepy. He was a sleepy hacking Bobby with an underscore at the end. Can what would be proper brittle? That the, uh, like a mechanic that they could add to like a hardcore version of Elden Ring. Um, cause it has a day and night cycle. You could make it that if you don't pick up your lost runes in 24 hours that you'll lose them. That would be proper brutal, wouldn't it? Ah, oh, he comes over that way. was it but then he just didn't like fall off I could try fighting him normally but with it with everything being a one-shot it's kind of tiresome Hello. <gasps> no! praise the praise the heckin praise the rage uh, praise the torrent I'm gonna die <laughs> Yorks, thank you very much for the 12 months! That's a whole hecking year! Thank you! Is it this side of the bridge or the other end? <gasps> it could be the other end! It could be the other end, we could try the other end. Hi level 1! Oh my god, level 1 Chris! Good to see you, I am the level 1 hacking booby! I am the level 1 booby! I could try and convince him to whoop! I think he'll despawn though. Nah, or he'll like get the cliff and he'll turn around. Ah! Wait, 
Wait, can I convince you to... To try and get me? Oh, he's not gonna... He's not... He was... He got stuck! He got stuck, but then he didn't fall. So I thought something about jumping onto the tree branch. Okay. Is it, is it this tree branch? Or it could be... There's another tree branch here. Yeah, no, that tree branch is like... I see, it's probably the other one. I can't remember either, Charlie. I should have watched the video again. Where did he go? Oh, he's there, he's there, he's there. Okay, so... Nah, it, maybe they fixed it. Maybe they fixed his AI to, like, just go around. Yeah, he's too clever. Hmm. <laughs> No worries, McKenna. I hope the driving lesson goes well. Nice day for it, right? Oh my god! The the irony of him now, like, running up against the side of the bridge, but the bridge is like... Wait, what does this say? Time for ranged battle. Oh! Oh! I could cheese him this way! Ah, oh, thanks. Play smart. Not hard. <laughs> That's how it goes, right? I need him to stay still, though. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit him often enough to, uh, to proc the poison. Oh dear. Oh, even when he was like Standing flipping still, I didn't hit him. I might have to like free aim. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so awkward. I'd rather fight him normally. I would honestly rather fight him normally. Struggle to sleep for long periods at times. Oh god, no, I can't. I literally can't. I know Doggo just had like a, a proper sleepy day. I can't really do that. But then again, I do still need like a decent, a decent eight hours, seven, eight, I'd say. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. I'm just wasting arrows here. Hmm. I thought this would be really easy and that's maybe where my like naivety is, is coming from. Cause I didn't really actually look into it. It could just be like everything else where like all these cheeses worked for these content creators and, and now that I'm actually doing it, uh, none of them work. None of them actually work anymore, which is really sad. Yeah, he just comes around over this side. I got him kind of stuck. Um, I just don't think you probably have to get him like in the middle of an animation. Did he despawn? Oh no, he's there. He's there. He's chilling over there. He's just chilling. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it, Cam. You need to like get like a jumping attack, possibly. Is there any breaks in the wall? There's not, no. Hmm. I think maybe the other side of the bridge. Has he not despawned yet? Where is he? Where'd he go? I can't see him. Did he just... Where is he? Oh, he's there! <laughs> what are you doing over there? Oh! He jumped over! He jumped the flipping... He jumped the gap! Hmm. <laughs> I could try the dragon breath, yeah, that's a really good idea, actually. Let's do that. So I need the faith talisman for that. Oh, I got this new incantation called Blood Flame Blade. This is key to my, my plan. My plan for status ailment, uh, uh, d like flipping domination, okay? But you guys, the, the plan will become clear through the day. Um, but first we gotta get this ash. So nightfall, 
I watched a video and it happens where you were there baiting him into jumping with you. Oh, and that's like, so he did the jump, but he like jumped too far. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I guess even if we die at the same time, Mick, it would work because I just want the drop. But yeah, we're going to try rotting him. So I need the faith talisman, this one. And we can go and stand up on that tree branch, right? <laughs> Tried playing Elden Ring when it came out, but I really struggled with it and I kept getting lost and sad. Oh, it's not worth it then if, if it's just making you sad. The like whole getting lost bit, I actually really enjoy. Like I love like just exploding. But maybe it's the open world element that, that you don't really like as much. Which I totally understand, because I do quite like the simplicity of Dark Souls 1. Like, where it's just like, go here, do that, and then go there and do that, and then do, go there and do that, and then go there and do that. Like, it's so simple, it's so good. Alright, go off torrent, please. No! Why did he- Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I think he despawned, he despawned, yeah. Okay. Now I need to attract his attention. <laughs> oh my god. And I took, did I take the ball? Right, okay, I can get him with an arrow. No, I can't get him with an arrow. Torrent is hungover too, yeah. <laughs> can we get him? Oh my god, no, don't turn round. <laughs> Oh my god. Why are my arrows just going through him? Oh, there we go. We got him. Okay, we got him. But, but, but he doesn't realise that it was me that shot the arrow. <laughs> Torrent, more like tenant. <laughs> Legolas would be proud of my awful aim. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Victor! Two happy years, yo! Happy stream. Smeg's sake, that made me laugh. <laughs> Thank you so much for the resub, Spectar. Thank you. Oh my god, hacking 24 months. Hack and hack. Hack and hack and hack and hack. Can I, can you just, can you, can you? He came over here before when I was down there too, but going down there is scary. I'm scared. Yeah, Knight's Cavalry's on the beer as well. Everyone's drunk. <laughs> oh, man. I'm still stuck in the little starting dungeon of Dark Souls. Oh, we can do something about that. I literally have, a, I've got a tutorial channel. I've got a tutorial channel if you want to... Oh no. Okay, he's rotten, but uh, I am gonna die. Oh my god, he hit Torrent. He hit Torrent. Do you think maybe I should like try and do some, some, some poisoning as well? I'm scared. <gasps> I'm facing him and I still can't hack in him? It's crazy. Okay, I got one hit on him. I got one poison arrow on him. Two. I think it takes about three to proc poison. So he's, he's rotten at the minute. I saw the green cloud, but he's not quite poisoned yet. Oh, this is epic, man. So this is what I'm going for. So this is, because I'm level one, it's really hard to ever truly get like tons of damage. So you can rely like heavily on like statuses, like poison and rot and, and frostbite and bleed. So that's the plan. I headshot the horse. Oh, balls, that's me. My bubble gone. He might reset. Okay, the um, the rot is gone. But he's at half health. 
And a exactly debuffs for the win. So I'm gonna go back on the, the tree here. And then see if we can... Where'd he go? Oh, he's there, he's there, he's there. Right, see if we can get him rotted again. Where is he? He's there. <laughs> he's chilling, he's chilling. Does this go through, like, can I do it through the, the tree? No. I don't think it has a huge range on it either. Balls. Oh, hi Anto. Okay, if I can get him to like, okay, here we go. Oh, just stay still. Oh, he was in it loads there. Why is he not? Oh wait, he is rotted, he is rotted. Okay, he's rotted, okay. Oh, that should have been a, a, a sure shot. Because I can sort of get him as he like turns around. But I don't know if it's quick enough to proc the poison. That's the problem. I'm trying my badage thing. Nah, so many arrows, man. Is he poisoned? I think he's po- is he? I can see the rot. I don't- I don't know if that- no, it's not. It's just red. It's not green. Oh, that- that could have hit me. <gasps> hey, K-Dove! We flopping, we rotting, we cheesing. That's what we gotta do. Maybe he's immune to poison, but he's not immune to rot. Get up, you. <laughs> oh, we got king up. Don't giggle. Don't giggle. We're just here to jiggle. My money don't jiggle jiggle. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome in. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for the raid. K-Dub, thank you. Hi, Power Matt. Hello, Atricia. Hello, Mr. Mor Morso. Hello, Ryan Twitch. Hello, Gunner. Welcome in. Memzy. This girl is poison. I was trying to poison him and it didn't get, it didn't go very well. I managed to get him rotted though. We got Bloodhound Step. Yes, welcome in friends. My name is Rach. This is my second ever playthrough of Elden Ring and we decided to do RL1, which seemed like a good idea. Um, but it's really hard. So we're having to resort to some, some stinky methods. <laughs> how are you doing? Yes, thank you very much for the follow. Kate up, how was your stream? What, what are you doing in Elden Ring at the minute? The cutest bun is here. You mean other than you, Charlie? Other than you? <laughs> Sharp, Murray, how are you doing? Wait, no giggling allowed, sorry. Just jiggling. No giggling. <laughs> Hi, Adri, how are you? That's, so that is Evie. She's my puppy. I would grab her and show her to you all, but she's actually at daycare today. She goes to doggy daycare once a week to, uh, to run around with her friends. So she's she's not here at the minute. Oh, you're doing, oh, I saw that on Twitter actually. You're doing bubble only from the horn dudes in the cap. Oh, wait, so is this like a new game plus thing or did someone like drop it for you? I think that's such a fun idea for a run. I'd love to do it one day. Um, yeah, oh my God, cause it does like really big stagger, doesn't it? Yeah, new game plus, okay, cool. Yeah, cause it does, does it, does it is the damage good? <laughs> I haven't really seen it much. She's adorable, thanks. Hi, Gray. How are you doing? Hello, happy Friday. No worries, k up. no worries. I imagine you're needing, um, I imagine you're needing a bit of a break because you always stream for flipping a million hours through the night. Uh, but yes, welcome, friends. We are, we're just, we've got a massive shopping list, actually. This is a lot of prep. We've done three demigods, sorry. Sorry, Renala isn't a demigod, apparently. I got told off for that the other day. Uh, we've done Redan, 
And we've done Godric and, and Ronaldo. Um, I'd love to do Rykard, but I could not get the, <laughs> I couldn't get the Volcano Manor skip. Oh, you got, oh, you got a clip. I want to see those. Placid sex. Melted, really? I fought this boss. I did it like second try or something. And I feel like so many of late game bosses, I just did not learn. Oh my God, I've not seen that version. I've only seen the one that's got like the, the big bubble, but there's guys, there's lots of little bubbles as well. And because it's like a spread and he's hitting like a really big boss, all of the bubbles are hitting and it's doing so much damage. That's like the, um, it's like Dark Beat from Dark Souls 1. If all the little beads hit, they do so much damage. That's so fun. I love that. I love that. I don't want, I think, so, I think for me, Andre, for me, it's going well. I am not, like, god gamer, really. Um, I just really love the games. I'm also really hungover. But, <laughs> um, for me, I think it's going well. So, I've just been experimenting. I didn't really want to use what, like, everyone else is using. But then, at the end, uh, at the end of the day, I've succumbed to... <laughs> bleed and frost and i'm enjoying that um yeah i think it's good i'm i'm this is bobby he's naked because like everything one shots me anyway and running around naked is fun <laughs> i just think it's very entertaining you know yeah oh my gosh that damage i know yeah that looks really fun hi fry good morning good afternoon <laughs> good afternoon fry <coughs> And once again, thanks for the follows, guys. It's lovely to meet you. My pleasure. I'm sorry, I'm, I am really hungover today. I did not plan to get super drunk on a Thursday. It just happened and now it's Friday and I've got a long day. I've, I'm driving home to see my parents tonight and I'm really hungover and it's like a three and a half hour drive and I feel my pain. Um, but we're comfy, we're cozy, we're poisoning some bosses today. Right, so now the next thing that I have to do is we're gonna go and get um we're gonna go get this rain of arrows because it's close by i want to say i can actually go there from here no i can maybe go there from the <coughs> fort fadoff yeah because it's kind of like here somewhere isn't it ah somebody follows thank you <laughs> yeah having fun is what's important exactly i i really was not having fun with radam <laughs> I think Radan extra extra annoys me because I think he's an incredible boss. Like I think he's such a good idea, but I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like the phase one stuff. Even just getting to him is a pain in the ass. But I just do not enjoy Radan uh, at level one at all. I did summon the boys to help because the boys, you can't do it without the boys. It's not the same. <sighs> oh, oh, Twitch has the, um, the watching without audio stuff. I didn't realize they'd done that already because I saw it going, it was going up. Didn't know they'd done it. So you say you didn't mean to get that drunk, but I seem to remember the phase more jugs. <laughs> Look, listen. Look, listen, learn, Poshy. I, I, I can explain. Yeah, it's like down here somewhere, isn't it? Is where you get the ash. And this is just an idea I had for like a maybe an easier way to apply. Here it is! Oh dear. To apply like poison in that if I get like rain of arrows. Okay, yeah, here's some messages. My first playthrough I played offline, so I didn't get any of these helpful messages. They're they're legit. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Sonby! My your, my hangover cure, Elden Ring and Lucasade. Same as you. Uh Grumpy Ursus, is he the guy on the tiny horse? Yeah, that's him, that's for Dan. He's he's really cool. He's really cool. But I just haven't I need to I just need to practice him. I think I just need to do it often enough that I get good, you know? I thought the same about so many bosses, they're too hard, but now that I'm taking my time, I'm finding them more enjoyable. Exactly, Mick, I just need to practice. So I've got a run that I'm doing off stream that is uh, no ashes. So that's, I think, even harder than RL1 at times. Um, so I'm, that's how I'm gonna practice Redan is by doing 
the like new ashes. That's the plan. Just healing up Torden because I might kill him and I don't really want to kill him. <laughs> Hi, UJ! Hello, hello. I will avoid talking about like anything endgame, UJ, while you're while you're here because guys, if you didn't know, UJ's fighting Melania. Speaking of <gasps> Speaking of, um, of cool fights, I, I'm so excited to fight Melania at level one. Who? Benny, I really struggled with Crucible Knight and Misbegotten before Redan. I can't believe they put those two in the same boss fight. It's so mean. It's very Elden Ring. <laughs> it's scenarios like that that I just do not feel bad about summoning an Ash, Spirit Ash, because it's like they clearly want me to. <laughs> they leave me no choice. You know what I mean? I look forward to the Bobe merch. We could do a we could do a Bobe commemorative thing because we're probably gonna be streaming this for a bloody long time, unless I like buy some miracle get good. Oh it oh I was gonna say it didn't do damage this time but it did. <laughs> Heal up my torrent. <gasps> Kyle, she really she really do be the blade of Mikla. How did you get on last night? Did you? I saw you get to phase two once. I think that was just as I was going. I said bye and then I stayed for a bit. I had a really good time. I like how Redan just wants to die in battle. Yeah, like his whole thing is really cool. Like he's so cool. Like his fight is so cool. It's so unique. We've never, never had anything like that ever in a FromSoft game. That like is is like the, the festival of war and you're like encouraged to summon all these NPCs. NPCs that you like love. We've never had anything like that. I just wish he was given an alt mine. Oh my god, Ursus, do you not do you not like Leonard? What do you have against Leonard? <laughs> Leonard the horse. Uh, so I think from here we can go down there. Am I gonna make that? That looks really far. That looks so oh god. Here we go. <gasps> yes. Okay. Ah. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I bet you that was just 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 too far. I reckon that was like just death. Ah, uh, I slipped. I slipped. Yeah, Melania's a really good fight, yeah. Oh, the most runes I've ever lost in one go, Arsis. On my first playthrough, I did lose about... I never really hang on to m m many runes because I get nervous and I spend them. It must have been, it was over 100k, but it was so late in the game that I wasn't really that bothered. But it's, I feel like it's the ones like, I would rather lose 300,000 runes at end game than 10,000 runes at the start of the game. Do you know what I mean? Like end game, it doesn't really matter. You're like, eh, I'll get more. But like at the start of the game, when you're struggling, that's I think when it sucks to lose runes. Hi, Peter, welcome in. BRB lunchtime, in it. Oh, have a good lunch, Charlie. Oh, flip. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Right, we are going to get this. Do you know what? I probably won't even use this, this ash. But it's on the shopping list. So we have to get it. <sighs> I wasn't really attempting to take her out, but I got her down to like 40% second phase. I think if I prepare pots. Pots? Oh, to like interrupt her out of the waterfall. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh, I can't dismount. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh God, 400K, Dave. That's, that's quite a lot. That's, that's too much. No, that's, I would be sad to lose that. Yeah. Okay, right. Got my runes back. Okay, yeah, I think we definitely have to land on that tree, but do not fall off the tree. <laughs> I think if we just slowly right where's my where's my right okay so there's a shiny there I think it's the one behind the golem I have a feeling there because there's an ash and there's a something else that you get wait do you get the ash for killing the golem oh I didn't think this through I just looked it up and it said it was here and I was like fab 
I want to have in my head that the prize for killing the golem sucks. So maybe I just grab this. Oh, oh, I need him to, oh. Wait, that's a rune arc. Wait, is the ash from killing him? I think it's from killing him. That's very bad. That's, that's very scary. Because I'm sure he's really hard. Oh, I reckon it is from killing him. And we need to do that jumping puzzle every time we want to fight him. Oh, it's from the painting! Oh, well, okay, that's good news, but also bad news, because I finally made it down here. <laughs> hmm. I finally made it down here, and... Uh... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kill him. He's got so much health. Uh, guess I'll die? Yeah, I should have, I should have actually looked that up. Yeah, we'll just, I'll just have to die. I'm not giving him the satisfaction. Candle of Ormon, Elden Ring definitely made me rage quit. Well, don't. Well, don't. Remember at the start of the game losing like 6k and feeling like the world had ended and I'm like, ah, I've got 20 runes, 20, 20k runes, I could take on this boss. Well, I guess that's like confidence with knowing what comes up next is a big factor as well. Right, which painting? Sorry, the guy in the chair that's on the air. Yeah, the painting in... Oh, well, Dave, you can like get banned. <laughs> um, In Celia. I've been to Celia. I skipped through it. That's very helpful, Kyle. Thank you. I don't even really need this ash. It was one of my, like, afterthoughts. Like, oh, I'll get that. I don't even really need it. <laughs> Guess I'll die. Exactly. Okay, so this, I want to say it's sort of like it torrent. Thank you. I want to say it's behind one of the doors. I've opened all the doors. Just need to figure out which one it is. So maybe here on the right. I want to say it's like back here. I've only played this once. I've only played this once. I've only played this once. It's not back here. <laughs> ah! No dogs, please. It's not back here, is it? Well, guess I'll die. I don't need runes. I don't need runes. I'm level one. It's fine. That is the good thing, actually. Hi, sis! That is the good thing about RL1, is that, like, you don't really... I don't really care losing runes. Don't really care dying, because you die so much anyway. Where's this painting? No, it's this way! It's this way, it's this way, it's this way. It's this way, it's this way, it's this way. I'm trying to, like, rack my photo memory. It's failing me right now. Oh, where is it? Are we safe here? Can I can I check it here? No, we're not safe here. Might be safe here though. Right. My EV is also at daycare today. Oh my god, Fridays are the best, sis. <gasps> fish, hello fish. Double blast and Tom. Hi Tom. And as before, hello hello. Happy Friday, guys. I am so hungover. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, I want to say it's in like a broken building and it's like over this side of the map. Come on, gotta learn it somehow, gotta learn it. Yeah, it's like over here somewhere. I grabbed this ash early, it's only one ash. Yeah, so it is good! Right into town, it's in a square on your right. Yeah, cause so I was in the right sort of area, but I just can't remember like what it looks like. I was hoping this ash would be good. It sounds really good for proccing poison. Or for conserving arrows, yeah. Okay, so that's us riding into town. A little square on your right. That one? Possibly. Yeah, it's like a broken building or so. But not that. It's not that broken. It's just a little bit broken. <laughs> 
Not as much as we are blessed by you, comma, J, comma, U, J. Jeez. You're both pretty good, okay? Can you just take that? Hi, Ocular! Good afternoon. You're not late at all. All you missed was we did the Knight's Cavalry. I rotted him to death, which was fun. Um, Knight's Cavalry and... Um, <laughs> went to get an ash that I actually need something else for and didn't, didn't, didn't get. So we're trying to get the thing that I'm missing and it's a painting. Because the little spooky man only shows up if you have the painting. <gasps> Your coaster arrived. How's that for quick service, Tom? I told you I was going straight to the post office that day. <laughs> I told you. Where far art thou? Oh, 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 oh. Stuck on a dude. Stuck on a dude. Here it is! Oh, finally. Flipping finally. Okay, I got it. No, it interrupted my torrent. I got it. Finally, I got it. I'm so, I'm so hungover. Oh, I had such a good night last night, though. It was good. So, like, even after Nikki went home and we stopped drinking, I was, like, just playing games and, and, and watching streams and, and stuff like that. It was great. Yeah, it was good. Okay, now, now we have to do that jump all over again, that jumping puzzle again. Because now the little guy on the chair is going to show up and give us the ash. <laughs> Hi, Apple. Hello. I'm not great. Like, I'm, I'm in good spirits, but my, my tummy is not happy. <laughs> Hello, McGillmanator. The people in this town have no chill. You have no idea. Oh my god. They're, they're bummers. Like, oh. <laughs> thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I want to just take a moment to apologize to everyone. I could not be bothered putting any effort into my appearance today. So I'm sorry, you got suboptimal range. Um, but today's today's uh, daily stream goals, if you hadn't noticed them, because uh, I'm full time and this summer is going to be bloody expensive. Uh, today's daily stream goals, the surprise is appearance related. So if that helps tickle your in intrigue bones. The intrigue bones. How's your good luck charm? Uh, yeah, 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 you were, yeah, yeah, ocular, yeah. <laughs> Wait, Ursus, that's not like a dark link, is it? No, it's, I saw the white hair and then I saw like the black coming off the side and I was like, is that dark link? But no, it's just me that's like loser enough to have a dark link emote. Where's mine? Where's my dark link? There he is. <laughs> so I saw like the like the what I thought was the hat coming off the side. Rage, please. All rage is tippy toppy rage. I look good. I want to look great though, Tom. Mm. Only downside with this ash is that it will drop the arrows on the spot that you fight it. If something moves a lot, it has a hard time landing, but it can be super fantastic. Uh, yeah, I I I assumed that would be the case that it wouldn't have like a it's not like a homing type thing. Um, I still think it's going to be good. It's definitely worth picking up anyway. Right, so now that we go here, this is where the painting was painted. Whoa. Torrent, 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 you're scaring me! You're scaring me, torrent! Now we can do one jump over here. Hmm? Hmm? Mm. And then on the edge there, I don't even think the golem's gonna wake up. He should be here. Yeah, there he is! Okay, so, and then he fades away and he leaves the Ash of War. <gasps> perfect! Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> Hi, Eric! Welcome in. I'm streaming. We're probably lucky you're wearing pants. I'm not wearing pants. I'm wearing leggings. <laughs> oh, get more! 
Now that alert is no longer ear splittingly loud. I fixed it. <coughs> Confined to the bitties. Thank you very much for the 300 bits ocular. Thank you. That emote is savvy. She has gremlin mode. Yeah, yeah, I see it. I, I saw it when I like enlarged it. I think it's like that. <laughs> My brain just wants to see Dark Link everywhere. We love him. I've got like a Dark Link cosplay. It's pretty good. <laughs> D-King, why did the innocent painting go to jail? Because it was framed. <laughs> diggy diggy ho. That alert, I made that alert back in January when we had a little diggy diggy hole themed mini game. And it's just stuck because people loved it so much. All right, so got Rain of Arrows, got Bloodhound Step. Oh, look at us ticking stuff off the list. I tried again this morning to do the Volcano Manor skip and I can't do it. <laughs> so I thought maybe we could take the front door into Volcano Manor because the weapon that I quite fancy trying out is in Volcano Manor. So here we go, we got the, the I managed to collect the first grace here um, to lead us into Mount Galmir. So we're gonna go through Mount Galmir now. And then I've got some other things to pick up on the shopping list, but I'd like to just get to the front door of Volcano Manor. I'm not gonna bother fighting the... <laughs> ah! Eleanor! Hi, so what happens now? Elador, thank you so much for the 10 pounds. Thank you. So what happens now, right? Is I look you in the eyes and I say thank you very much. Thank you for supporting the stream. <gasps> You've filled, right, tips is filled. So when subs and bits are filled too, then we have, it's gonna be, it's like a different surprise every day. I have a clip to what our surprise was on Wednesday, if you guys are interested, it was well cute if I may say so. But yeah, so basically the thing is with this is it's like, it's different every day. Today's is appearance related. Yeah, here we go. So can I share this? No. Go to VOD page. God, Twitch is flipping website, man. Yeah, here you go. This was yes, no, sorry, Wednesday's surprise. It was Eevee trick time. So there would be different kinds of surprises. This was an Eevee one. We can't have an Eevee one today because she's at daycare. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. January seems like so long ago. Brad Wright. Right. It's crazy. I miss, I miss Zelda January. That was good times. We got shopping. Hi, Ginge. Ginge k braided. <laughs> How are you doing? Hi, Gally! Oh my god, heckin' both of the G, the G mods have come in at the same time. What were you guys doing together, huh? Were you hanging out? <laughs> Hi, Sneaky! Hello, hello, what a clever popper. I know, it was Eleven. so cute. 11! 11! 11! You're just saying it the same way. I'm gonna keep saying it until I understand Scottish. All right. 11! All right. Eldar, thank you for the 111! 11! Oh no, oh no, I'm getting raided. I'm getting, I'm getting raided. <laughs> I'm getting invaded. I'm getting raided and invaded and raided and hacking to blah. Anastasia, tarnished eater. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. I might just run. Should I run? No, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna stand my ground. I'm gonna hack in. Oh, I'm gonna get one shot. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get one shot by her massive heckin' axe. <laughs> Damn it, Anastasia. She's the is she the volcano manor manor? She's she's one of the what's the word? I wanna say apostate. It's not an apostate. What is it? One of the one of the people that work for the volcano manor dudes. Get me some fairy dust and I'll make it into a magic cloak. <laughs> Bombs and lamp oil and drip and... <laughs> oh my god. We played the Zelda CDI games, guys. If you weren't there, there's actually some really good, like, cut down highlights from them on my website. On oh, my website? Jeez, Rach. Calm down. On my YouTube. Yeah, YouTube is my website, guys. I made it. 
on my YouTube, uh, and it was really funny. It was really, really well edited. Berto edited those videos. I'm looking for a ladder. I can't remember where the ladder is. But we do know we get dismounted around about here, so... And I can't obviously open my map. I think we should just run. Okay, here we go. I'm just running. I'm such a coward, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm a smart coward. Wait, I think we should have found the ladder by now. I think the ladder is like back the way. But I'm intrigued over what this shiny thing is. I was stopped 10 plus times at the shop. I 100% I'm going to have to get Obi a little yellow coat. So people think he's a dog with a job and they don't bother you. Yeah, it's actually a good plan. <laughs> oh my god, that spell takes so long to cast. <laughs> Did you know uh, if you have like dexterity or if you have like the spell casting talisman, if you cast a different spell first and then cast the dragon spells, they cast a lot quicker. I haven't tested it myself personally, but it makes complete sense. <laughs> Prostates? I said apostates. What the hell? <sighs> yeah, I'm sure it's a ladder on the left. Ladder on the left, looking for a ladder on the left. Volcano prostates. Forget it! I said apostate! What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow! Oh, there it is! There it is! It's only lit up by some bright hacking torches. Uh-oh. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Oh my god! A crotch flipping shot! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! I can't believe I've done this! Oh no! <laughs> Oh, you can see how red his leg hair is. Oh no, oh no, look, okay, right, I'll stop, I'll stop. There we go, look, sorted, done. <laughs> his legs are on fire. <laughs> it's the way that the camera just wasn't, the camera wasn't resetting, it was just loving it. Camera was happy. Oh. <sighs> Mm? I never even realized you could get up the mountain this way. I thought it was a dead end. That way was, Gally. That way was. I realized that very quickly and then died. But yeah. <laughs> I could see what he had for lunch. What, in his crotch? Those legendary RL1 lines. See, did you guys know that by never leveling up, you strengthen your buttocks? Now that was a Volcano Manor prostate. <laughs> Charlie is a minor irritation, pass it on. Wow. Get out, Benny. No flipping way were you literally just like talking about prostates at work and now all of a sudden we're talking about prostates here. No way, what are the chances? What are the chances? I'm gonna need a whole new glass of water. This water is like, it's no longer cold. It's like room temperature, you know the, you know the kind where it's not warm. <laughs> oh, Ursus, that, that is Mr. Libido. He is somewhat of a mascot. I've never actually played Yakuza, but Mr. Libido. Yeah, like tepid, tepid, like room temp water. Nah, nah. To be fair, that camera was like ju <laughs> only just off a colonoscopy. I know I'm pale, but I'm not translucent, okay? <laughs> no, not lukewarm, like not as not as warm as lukewarm, but not cold either. Like room temperature, sort of like warm room, warm room temperature water. Nah, I'm getting rid of it. Before it gets warmer. If Rai is not doing that when I meet him, I'll be upset. <laughs> oh yeah, and I saw you guys had sorted out some digs for DoRageCon. <laughs> That's cool though, it's good to be organized. Well, oh, I wasn't talking about prostates, I was checking work emails. Oh, I was checking work emails with you in the background and then it was nothing but internal butt chat. Internal butt, oh my god. 
Okay, so we continue to follow the grace. <laughs> what is better than an external butt? An internal butt. Twenty-two degrees C, flipping water. That's 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 hot water. That's literally hot water. No, I don't think I go that way. I think I go that way. Although this is the way to the grave. The grave is up here. <laughs> Room temperature, water, and cold coffee are the same temperature, but they feel different. <laughs> yeah, one year used to be in hotter, and one year used to be in colder. Yeah, there's the grave. I don't even think it's worth picking up that grace. And I also think this is a dead end for us here. Like Philip Worm or Ryan Worm. <laughs> Bobby Worm. Oh. <laughs> like when you've got sweaty crotch. <laughs> Bobby Worm. <laughs> Petition to make rye bread. Sorry, that was my brain just like spontaneously combusting at that very, very clever ship name. Sorry, I'm really tired. <gasps> the libido party room, yes. So is that where everyone goes like topless? Within like with modesty, obviously. Oh, this is this is not great. This is not good. Am I gonna Oh okay, I'm okay, I got away with it. Chin cam What? <laughs> Chin camera, OP. Jeez, not a fan. Are those guys, so you know the revenants, the like grafted revenant, remnant, is it remnant? You know you can heal them to death. Can you heal the grafted scions to death? Are they still technically those who live in death? I think they are, you know, I think they're, they're those who live in death. Undead. Bobby worm. <laughs> Gospel temperature, Matthew, Matthew worm, Mark worm, Luke worm and John worm. Yon, yon, yon warm. When isn't Rai topless? I have seen him in a suit actually before, yeah. Yeah, topless but with modesty, yeah. You can heal things to death, Ginge, yeah? So you know the, you know the remnants? I'm gonna kill this guy, I've been killing merchants. I feel awful, but it's just so, it's so efficient. Um, also I might die, that would be funny. Wouldn't it? What, who am I targeting here? No, donkey, get out of the way! Oh my god. Donkey, please! <laughs> the poor horse! <laughs> Why am I- oh, oh! Oh my god, is he running after his donkey? This is such a shame, I feel so bad. <laughs> I know, I'm awful, I'm sorry, I need your bell. <laughs> yeah, this RL1 character is an NPC killer and I don't feel bad about it. I feel a bit bad about killing the donkey though, I do feel a bit bad about that. <laughs> I do feel a bit bad about that though. <laughs> 17 hacking months. Thank you for being awesome, Rach. Rach, oh, hecky, hecky. Rach I love Rachel. Rachel, hug. Oh, hecky, hecky. Thank you very much for the 17 months, Mackie. Thank you. And hi, Sparta. Welcome in. Getting some points in. We love to see it. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was good to see you last night, Mackie. Flip yes. How are you getting on? Grafted Siren was offering us a free prostate exam there. I almost got one. <laughs> Topless with modesty. Behave yourselves in this good Christian community. No titties. Is that why when it gets above 20 degrees, all men take their tops off? Yeah, because they're all secretly Mr. Libido. Yeah. I'm murdering good merchant beans because convenience. Healing to death sounds like being nice to someone who refuses to take compliments. Oh, like tools. I reckon you could heal tools to death. <laughs> I'm sure there's a grace up here. 
I'm taking a bit of a detour, I realize. I'm pretty sure there's a Grace. Oh, that frenzy guy. <gasps> there it is! There it is. Hi, Bungie! Welcome in. R.I.P. Dragon's hubby. Was that the dragon's husband? Wait, donkey. Oh! <laughs> donkey! Oh god, that took me way too long. Now who's gonna make waffles? <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So we can go that way for the volcano manor. Yes, this way, this way, this is it. There's also a spirit spring that might actually be faster than taking the ladder. I don't know why it gives you the option for the ladder when the spirit string spring is much more fun. In there, falling star beast, not gonna kill it. No flipping way, bye. I could probably kill it actually. I could, I've, I've had a bit of practice fighting them. I might go back and do it later. We're on the shopping list today though, guys. Uh, do I need to kill that guy to get access? Also, there's a grace here. Oh, there's a flipping seed here. And a little scarab as well. Yeah, healing to death. Healing someone to death is backseating. <laughs> Explain. Yeah, it was a tactical evasion for now. We're not skipping it, we're just... Oh! Also, did you guys know that the hands are super weak to fire in the way that they... F like, they don't... Well, they take a little bit extra damage, but they, they freak out if you set them on fire. I think that's really interesting. It's like, so if you're struggling with them, they, uh, they really freak out if they, if they get fire damaged. Thought that was cool. They're not lucky to burn, no. Don't you know they don't like it. Mm. Oh, a uh, Zelda pickup line for Grey. When I see you, I'm harder than the water temple. Could have said wetter. But why would I be wet? Oh no, because that's no... For a second there, my brain was far too innocent. Anyway, um, Lord of the Quotes for Ginge. Certainty of death. Small chance of success. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, bring a flamethrower to Caddy Manor. Yeah. Finally, I got to Volcano Manor. Let's go. The Falling Star Beast there drops five Smithing Stone Sixes. And the one in the Celia Crystal Tunnel drops five Smithing Sevens. Ah. Oh my. Crap. I need them. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Wait. But the one in the Celia Crystal Tunnel is not the fully grown version, and that drops better stones. But that one's the fully grown version, and it drops less good stones. I need to kill them. <gasps> Damien, thank you for the 69. <laughs> thank you. Wait, why would I be wet? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> for a second there, I was like, very innocent. Is this the place you can find the pizza cutter? <gasps> oh. Oh, I really wish we could use that weapon. That would be so much fun. I don't know for sure, Ursus, but I have seen it being used and it looks a lot of fun. So now that I'm here, we have to get into the basement. Uh... Hello. Son, you we rarely look fascinating. So, about the bird, if you have. Rise with sure. Value, the drawing room. I am tell also, just want to go see Raya. The NPC invader upstairs drops the cutter. Oh, there you go, it is. Thanks, Yaksha. Someone please kill him. Someone please. Hello, Raya. So I did a thing with her earlier where I like got her necklace back from the guy selling the prunes. So I grab this and I grab this. Uh, he's there, um, so it's in this room, there's an illusory wall, right? Yeah, Raya's brill. I wet! Welcome, wait, I was literally just saying, why would I be wet? And then too wet to burn, it's like, hi. <laughs> hi. Try rolling. Is that not where the illusory wall is? Mm. 
best maiden. <laughs> They've patched the 50 hit wall. Oh, is this the 50 hit wall? I just want the normal, the normal elicity wall to get into the basement. It might be the other room. The, I'm sure it was on this side. Oh, no, it's this room. It's this room. It's this room. It's the, yeah, you're right. That's it. <laughs> That's the other room. Wait, so was that one back there the one that you had to hit loads? But yeah, that was a glitch. And that proves it. Perfume bottle. Hey, so your your clue with that is that the painting is squint. <laughs> I love it. Snails. Oh, no, not the bow. Not the bow. Oh, also I've still got my faith talisman. Let's get the... <sighs> The successive attacks one for a bit. Oh, where did I get to with Millicent? What did I have to do with Millicent again? So I... Oh, the poison! The poison... Um, place, the poison... Manor, this one. What's this one called? It's here. Yeah, I need to do that and get her arm back. That's what I need to do. Remind me. Actually, I'm gonna. I don't trust either of us because there's so much to remember. I'm gonna put in here, poison manor. For prosthesis, pros prosthesis. Cool. I've still got diggy diggy hole in my head, and I'm not upset. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh yeah, earlier I was hanging out in another streamer's chat and I asked who everyone's favourite Soulsborne streamer and creator was and three of them said me? Wait! Wait, I must know because I worry, Kyle, because I'm, I'm an overthinker. Was the person you were watching also playing like Elden Ring and Souls? Because if people were saying me and the stream was literally Souls, I would feel so dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> but if they weren't then that is very flattering and we must have mutual friends I'm not gonna ask you to name drop but like that's really interesting we must have mutuals <laughs> is anyone watching all of us are dead oh yeah Ginge saw it I think I would like it but I haven't yeah I haven't seen it yet giggly giggly bull <laughs> giggly rage <laughs> No giggles, they just hear the jiggles. My money don't jingle jingle. It folds. I like to see you wiggle wiggle. Oh no. <laughs> that rhymed. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous about this guy. Oh, I didn't. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try and get the stagger on him. I like to see you wiggle wiggle. For sure. <laughs> I choked. I choked. Oh, I've got a bow! Oh, I need to take that bloody bow off my bloody bars. <laughs> I keep switching to it and then just being like, why is my counter not working? Oh, that's so funny. It's fine. I got the I got the grace. I can just, it's fine. It's fine. Did I get a follow there? I did. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. I'm going to take this bloody bow off <sighs> and the seal as well because I don't even need the seal okay right <laughs> only serious gameplay here hi Mart wow the timing you're you're right on time for some classic rage <sighs> that confidence I know just whipping the bow out just like this is fine oh my days Oh my days. <laughs> Was that a non sun? Let's survive! Booby! <laughs> Vicky, thank you.
very much for gifting a sub to Bobby. <laughs> he says thank you, and now he can watch with ad-free viewing and gets eternal happiness and stuff. <laughs> thank you, Vicky. <laughs> I don't want to make you feel bad. Oh my god, were they playing souls? Oh my god, I feel bad. But also kind of chuffed in like, I hope that they didn't take it personally. But also that's really nice that some people said me, like I I do my best and that's really nice. <gasps> Mart, how are you? I'm really hungover. I need to like sit back. I need to like, oh. <laughs> I need to just nap is what we're saying really. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay. Fee, she has to go walk the puppy before taking him to the vet. Oh, I hope everything's okay. Have a nice walk. <gasps> puppy. Just Vicky things. What a menace. So from this guy, we've got the bloodhound claws. So my plan for this, right? My plan for these is that they actually have bloodhound step on them already. Um, so that's why I sort of was looking for them, but they, they have, uh, claws have a huge, um, bleed build up. So I'm thinking, right, cold bloodhound claws in my, whatever hand that the weapon art works with, left hand and we're gonna go and get the second claw. That's a poison claw. So we're gonna have we're gonna have frost. We're gonna have bleed, and we're gonna have um, poison. That's the plan. And also, I've got that fire debuff, fire the weapon coating. That's the plan. We'll see if it works. <laughs> my blanket. It's not a blanket. It's just my hoodie. It's my Elden Ring hoodie, actually. He's fine, just getting a checkup. All good, good, yeah. Hi, Aizens, happy Friday. The hook claws from Stormvale have the same blood build up. Hook claws, but do they look this cool? Hook claws. Wait, and Stormvale is so early on. I could have just gotten that. Well, I had to get Volcano Manor anyway. <gasps> oh, that's the Wolverine claws. Oh. Yes, they're as cool, if not cooler. <sighs> that was my bubble running out because it's been three minutes. Mart had my lower, lower back lock on me for a few minutes. First thing I woke up. Oh, lock up? Like, logical due to my current lower back minor injury and recovering, but I'm good. About to practice a few random seeds for tomorrow. Seeds in what game, sorry? While watching the stream. Pro strats, I think I am, I think I am big braining it. I'm like too big brain because this, this relies on me actually being able to avoid damage. <laughs> but we'll try it out. It's fun to try something different. Exactly, D King. We need debuffs on your debuff so we can debuff while we debuff. And then we actually have a buff that will cancel out the debuff so that we can apply the debuff again sooner. Complex planning and intricate flexible strats. <laughs> Katana go brr. I was very tempted just to say, right, tell me exactly what you did, Kyle, and I'm going to do that. But I'm being, trying something different appeals to me because it's like, it's fun to, it's fun to strategize, I guess. But yeah, I probably could have gotten the other claws, but ah, oh, well. We were coming here anyway. Oh, Metroid Fusion, nice. I've been really enjoying Dread. We're gonna play more of that next Tuesday. Metroid Dread is the one that I think people were saying is meant to come after Fusion. Right, so this Grace is the... Is this the other side of the door that I couldn't get through? I think it is. I know Volcano Manor pretty well now from just running around it trying to do this stupid skip. <laughs> Yeah, we're here. Okay, so obviously I couldn't get back through this door because it only opens from that side and you can only get that from doing uh, either that crazy jump or or by, I don't know, killing Godskin or whatever. And I, I wasn't up for it. So we've now opened that. That's good. Uh, let's go get the other claw. Oh, I never got the map stone. Oh, I would quite like the map stone. Yeah, I'll go quickly grab the map stone. 
yeah, ice and bleed is nice. Anything that can like add to that is great. So what I'm thinking is I'm literally just going with all, <laughs> with all of the statuses. I'm literally gonna have poison, raw, I thought I killed you, mate. Um, poison, rot, frost, bleed, um, and also the, um, this, whatever, uh, blood flame bleed also kind of is technically like a bleed debuff. Fire, fire bleed debuff, yeah. Gonna be awesome. If it works, it might not work. And then if it doesn't work, at least we had fun trying, right? Oh, that's a bit, oh, it's a bit far, that. <gasps> Volcano Manor might be my favorite area. I really love all the legacy dungeons, really. I think Stormvale for me just blew my mind because it was the first one. And because it was the whole like, oh, you can go in like guns blazing in the front door. You can go all calculated and take a bit longer in the back door. Um, and I loved that like aspect of it, like aspect of choice. So it's hard for me to think of like, like Stormvale just is by default my fave. Um, um, grab that while we're here, fab. Doing the dishes after dinner, Twiggy. Stream's good, thank you. I'm kind of, my tummy is in like a lot of agony right now, but I'm happy, I'm having a good time. We needed to kill that guy as well, the falling star beast. I can give him a go. What does the fully grown one do? He must just have more gravity spells, right? Hmm. They probably can't be poisoned, so there's no much point in me. Mm. Let's have one go, because we haven't really had any combat today, really. It'd be cool if they had a frost fire sword. A weapon that has fire damage, but also has frost, so it resets itself. That would be cool. I guess they've got the... Oh, no, night and flame is magic. It's magic and fire. <laughs> Shofra being so pretty, but Caddia Manor can get in the bin. Agreed. <laughs> Stormvale gave me those like old souls nostalgia vibes. It feels very Boletarian palace, doesn't it? Castle? What? Hang on. Is it Boletarian castle or Bol Boletarian palace? <clears throat> okay, when we get up there, it's pretty much right into the fight. I don't know. Oh, God, I don't think he can bleed because he is... Um, because he is, hang on, if you only have one weapon, oh, it switches to, to, sorry, I'm thinking aloud, thinking aloud, oh, they can be poisoned, jellyfish helped me, oh, yeah, I've got summons, oh, I forgot, what about rot, can they be rotted? Because I've got Rotten Stray. The minor air tree right next to the graves that you just discovered has the the FP. Yeah, but I need to kill the flippin' slug. I would need to kill the slug though and I'm scared. Any special event or just Thirsty Thursday? Uh, literally, it was... We were only supposed to go for a walk, Isons, and then we were like, oh, we go to the pub. <laughs> It was very spontaneous. Yeah. And I'm paying for it. Okay, let's just give it a try. The grace is right there. There's no frustration to, to die in. Oh, jeez, man. I'm scared of this fully grown one because I'm scared I don't know all the moves. Oh, I didn't know 
more damage! And do you know what happened there in my brain? My brain went, block! Block! Press L1 to block! I've got a club in my hand, not a shield. <laughs> That's actually killed me a lot of times in this playthrough. Trying to block when I don't have a shield. Um, yeah, surprise pub. I don't, so he definitely seems resistant to bleeds because that crit did not do much. Would rot breath be quicker? Mm, I would need something to distract it. So we could try the... Mm, jellyfish is probably my most tankiest one. And we can try the raw breath, yeah. I'll try anything. For sure. Drinking with Nikki can be dangerous to your health. <laughs> yep. <laughs> sure can. Hi, Brenda. Good morning. Well, there goes my bubble. Oh, I don't have a seal equipped. Flipping elevation working to my advantage there. Okay, he's rotted. He's rotted. So now I could uh, just chill. Jellyfish is a way to die though. So we just... Oh my god, he's cool with it! He's cool with it, Brando! He's cool with it! Oh, he's not cool with it. It's gonna it's not gonna last forever. <gasps> oh, that seemed a bit OP. Oh good night gamers weekend! It's 7 7 30, so it's my turn to do the sleeps. <laughs> Friends, tell me if I do another all nighter, they'll yell at me. I'll flip and yell at you. Have a lovely rest of stream. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sleep well. Thank you. I could become a matador, yeah, and literally just like, ole, ole. <laughs> um, I think we were onto something there. So he definitely got rotted. I could probably try and distract him long enough for the jellyfish to poison him. I have stone for your face. It didn't feel like that should have one shot me though. I wonder if the reason that there is a ladder and a spirit spring there is in case people are doing... Uh oh. In case people are doing um, no torrent runs or something. Jelly's still alive, so like if I distract him, he's not never gonna stand in the poison mist. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi Nathan, is this one or the one by the capital more difficult? I think they're about the same. They have the same, they have the same moves. Oh, maybe the capital one has more health, maybe. Yeah, that's a good point. 
Yeah. I'm I'm right. So this is a this is when everything one shots you. I'm getting used to that. If you were to get the rot and leave the arena, would it continue or would the boss reset? No, well bosses don't reset P Mox, actually. I could do it that way in like kind of scummy way, but mm, Yeah, it's an idea. It is an idea. I'm killing it because I want the smithing stones from it. So we'll let him do his charge, jump off, jump off, do the jellyfish. Oh, my bum. Okay, jelly gets aggro. Maybe I have aggro. Right, okay, well spam rolling isn't the thing to do. Yeah, I think it would continue. I think it would keep ticking down. Oh, unless you obviously rested. I had aggro. I think, well, we've both got aggro. Oh, oh, okay, it worked. Delayed X button. Right, let's just be careful and not actually make any mistakes. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. It's fine. Well, we got Rot Dog this time. <laughs> the poison wasn't worth it anyway. It? Hard to tell. I think he is. Ah, oh, well, rot dogs away for his tea. <laughs> That's upsetting. I rolled. Are we allowed to ask about or talk about Laura? Yeah, sure. I've finished it. This is my second playthrough. But yeah, that's fine. <sighs> this boss reminds me of Radoban. I don't know that one from Monster Hunter. This guy is so brutal. I don't actually think he's that bad. <laughs> I realise that's maybe hard for me to say because I'm dying to him, but I don't actually think he's that bad compared to a lot of other things. It's just like obviously getting one shot isn't fun. Hey! Poisoned. <laughs> the rocks, I thought he was going to charge. This is like a star beast. Isn't the elder beast like a star beast too? I guess, yeah. These could be linked to... I think they're more linked to like... Because they use gravity magic. So I don't know if they're like the same sort of thing as Elden Beast. But I think they're more linked to like... Definitely linked to the stars for sure. Because the whole gravity thing. You know, if you think about it, it's actually easy. Yeah, it is! I just keep making mistakes because I'm, I'm tired. These guys are not that bad. The worst one was when there was the fully grown one in one of the crystal caves. In the tiny room. Yeah, they've actually changed that. So now it's like that one's the Celia Crystal Tunnel one's a baby version. I don't know why I stood there. Don't really know why I did that.
Oh, I'm out of mana. I have not done a single hit. Okay, I did a hit. I rolled, but it was a bit late. Yeah, Elden Beast is like a celestial being. Well, it's like the physical manifestation of the greater will. Isn't the lore that this thing is like a filling grown version of the rocks slinging hanging down? Oh, Astel? Like the Astel type dudes? Yeah? They're in craters. <gasps> Good point! They literally fell from space. <laughs> yeah, falling star beast. Yeah, yeah, they're from space. They're from stars. Yeah, yeah so I think I'm going to give up on the jellyfish because I just don't think he's doing very well. The rotten stray. To try and get the rot breath off. Uh, that was maybe the best chance I had for the rot. Okay. with the cold katana. Oh, it still doesn't do a lot of damage. <gasps> Jeez. I think you just basically need to roll through that because if you roll through it... Oh no, my dog died. If you roll through it, obviously there's less... Um, less time... <sighs> going through it. Okay, what, is this like a phase change? Are you doing more spells now? Are you gonna, oh. Oh, like his eyes all purple now, cool. He's getting harder now. He's still rotten though. I could be tempted to just see when the rot runs out. Okay, you cannot dodge that on Torrent. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much need to roll forward through that, like. There's some things like that you just literally can't dodge. On Torrin, I mean. If you fell from space, you'd be pretty angry too. Hello. Adam! 36 months! Hey, hey. Sorry I've been extra quiet as of late. I'm still here and still lurking, but couldn't let the three year but. go by without sending some love less than three. Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you for this 36 months and for the tier three. <gasps> Holy butts. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's three heckin' years. Bruh. I hope you're doing okay. I know you're I know you're a quiet boy. We love you. It's nice to know that you're there. I hope you're okay. <laughs> Mounting Torrent's iframes? I yeah. Uh I actually think rolling would probably be better. What's my, what do I have? Oh, I've got the faith one, of course, for. Why don't I, because I'm taking more damage here from this. Oh, but I need it for the. Huh, why don't I just wear some armor? What if I just wore some armor? And then maybe. I don't get one shot. I think I'll still get one shot. No, I'm a heavy load. But I don't think I need this. Oh, I'm still a heavy load. Cool. Okay. <sighs> Guys, my tummy is really sore. <laughs> but yeah, so I think... Um, I don't think I can rely on doing it with Torrent. I'll keep trying. I'm, I'm, I'd like to get it. 
I don't really want to give up, but we've got a big shopping list of things we can do. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that would be okay. Let's go in for the rocks. And get one shot. Still get one shot. So, no point in wearing armor. <laughs> no point. Get one shot anyway. Fizzy pop is good for settling the stomach. I've had the look as aid. Yeah, what's the point? What's the point in armor if you still get one shot? Let's be naked. Adam has a long one. <laughs> it's very long. Flip yes. <laughs> Who is it that knows about and keeps up with the lore of the celestial beings? Gideon? You mean Gideon? The oh knowing! It covers his fire legs. Well you don't what's wrong with my fire legs? <laughs> we must unleash the bobe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, um, right, two headphones, we're getting real. You could avoid getting one shot if you put a couple points into Vitality. It's okay, Brenda, I know that um, you're not as experienced in this game as I am, so I'll let you off on that. But we would get fierce sunburn. Why do you think he lives in the lands between? It's Dreech. It's Dreek. I wonder if we take the ladder. Oh, it's gonna take bloody forever though. This is a test. Violence. <laughs> this is a test. If we take the ladder, does the beast like take a minute to notice that we're there? Because if I could sneak up on it. I've never actually taken the ladder. I took the ladder the first time because, I don't know. I guess I didn't see the spirit spring. I might have to stand up. My like tummy cramps are oh, so bad. <sighs> yeah, if this doesn't work. Ah! It didn't work. Imagine leveling up, right? The ladder doesn't make any sense. The only reason they must have put that there is for, they must have known that people might do a no torrent run of this game or something. Brenda's right, just level up. Um, I will play my level one run the way that you're supposed to play a level one run. If that's okay. Right, so he charges once and then he charges twice and then he one shots me because I thought he was going to the left and he went to the right. <gasps> Hi, tired! I'm pretty tired too. I took the ladder first time because I had no idea. Exactly, because we didn't know it was a boss fight, yeah. <sighs> so I need to kill this so I can get the stones from it. Which would be really good. But yeah, if we could get it to jump off the edge, that'd be great. I think the fact that we can rot it is huge. I just need to not die. top and then me slightly like underneath is is making me get away with a lot of attacks oh he's rot he's rot he's rot he's rot Ugh. hiya no my dog if you're here before beating radan it's just a ladder to nothing Oh, of course, because the stars haven't fallen.
Oh god, okay, so this is the- Oh! Well, I guess I'm dead. Oh. Scarlet Rot and then go down the ladder. Oh, that's an idea. But I need to like, it, the Scarlet Rot's gonna run out. The thing is though, if I can't even do a boss like this, that in my opinion has like pretty, pretty good tells, like pretty easy moves to read. Like if I can't even do something like this, then I've got no hope for the rest of the run, really. So. I kind of have to just get used to it. Well, there goes my bubble. Oh, I got stuck on a rock! Okay. Could you poison mist the top of the ladder? It could hang around there if you're on it. It does come to the top of the ladder. Yeah, let's try that. That could be funny. But no. <sighs> My point is though, if I can't even do this, then what's the point? Like, cause there's, I'm not gonna be able to cheese every boss. Like the remembrance bosses, I won't be able to cheese. Unless it's super boring. Oh, I don't believe in me. That's, I think, that's the problem. I need to, like, need to get that. Okay. Might go offline because the flipping bloodstone and the message and I couldn't get the descend. I don't even know if I can call that an excuse. Hmm. Hi, Ken Panchi. Each battle makes you stronger. It's true. It's true. Very dramatic death. Oh, well, at least it's... At least it's entertaining. True. Ugh. It should prioritize the ladder, but I had to, like, move right on top of the ladder. And there's enough of us to believe in you to counterbalance your non-belief. <sighs> yeah, I just think you guys all voted for this, so you must have known when you voted for it that it was going to be pretty painful. No, that's I don't think that's going to be possible. I went down the ladder pretty much immediately there. It's not going to be possible. It's okay though, it was worth a try. I think if we like got him rotted and then ran for the ladder we might be able to do it that way that feeling when you win i know i want to get that This is probably a bad idea because he's going to aggro right onto me. Yep. <laughs> it's not boring. I love seeing you talented gamers figure these bosses out. You think this is talented? I feel like garbage. <laughs> That's really encouraging. Like, I'm level one, to be fair. Hang on. I'm just gonna step back a moment. Like, sure, I don't think this boss is hard, but I'm level one. I'm literally level one. 
I am naked. Duh, of course it's hard. It's like I forgot that. It's like I forgot. Like, oh my god. Okay, right. Keep trying. Keep trying. And the great thing is, if I do manage to get this, then I get like, what was it? It was like five? Five um, smithing stone sixes, which is huge. That's really going to help level up our claws. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sugar, I missed my window. That's fine. We'll get another window. I think you could do it at level 100, King. Just like I can do it at level 1. Just needs some, a lot of practice. <laughs> So I think the difference is with the fully grown one is that it's um it has that phase change halfway through. Oh, I don't know why I rolled there. This is probably gonna kill me. Okay, we keep trying. Oh, he's rotted, he's rotted. Okay, here's the strap. Here's the strap. Diagros, it will not reset his health. Okay, look. Still going. This was genius. <laughs> it wasn't my idea. Whose idea was it to go down the ladder? Now the rot is gonna run out. It's very cheeky, isn't it, Drexel? He can't even hit me with the magic from here. Oh, Rin level one, no leveling up. I am made of paper. I have to do everything I can to, to succeed. <sighs> Destroy, down the ladder and wait. Sees Tail Whip at the top of the ladder. Goes down a little further. <laughs> Bet he's fuming. Does your ability to summon ashes come back when he diagros? No, you can summon one ash per rest at a grace type thing. Or death. Okay, rot has run out. Okay, that was a lot of rot. However, however, it's gonna be a lot harder. Wait, wait for him to de rot, climb up and rot him again. So no, that's not gonna be that's not gonna be so easy as that because I don't have an ash to distract him now. So it's gonna be a lot harder to get the rot off. I need to like wait for a very specific thing that I can punish. He's face changed! I can't do that second phase on Torrent. So the only problem with that, the cheese, is that he phase changes a lot earlier. Because he, that was like 60% health. That wasn't like, wait to use the ash until the second time. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it, yeah. I always find it hard to get my rot off, particularly at this time on a Friday. Oh, what? <laughs> Ew! <Ewan. laughs> ah! I don't know what I was thinking. We have time to poison the ladder in phase one while your ash distracts. Also, like to poison him and to rot him. Can you cast? 
on a ladder? I'm guessing not. Because you can you can attack, but only with like a punch, right? Yeah, just a punch. That would have been OP if I could cast like from the ladder. Hmm. Just above it. Oh, it's gonna kill me though. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna one-shot me. I ran into it there. Oh, and then it kills you as you're getting up. Getting knocked off of Torrent is pretty much death sentence because you're fully like vulnerable, but you can't move. <gasps> Hi Doomsock, happy Friday. That was happening to me on Redan a lot where I'd get like knocked off of Torrent and then there's no point in like, like I'm dead. I'm dead. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, I'm gonna save my flask as well to get my like free hit in phase two, because I'll need it. So he does that, and then he does one more time, and then maybe I can jump off now and use the thing. But it's too slow. I don't think I can do, no thank you DC. I don't think I can do the dragon rot breath without a summon to distract him. Unless I wait for what is a really, really long recovery for this boss. Okay. <laughs> I don't do PvP. I'm level one. I'm level one. It's not fair on you. Right, so just maybe if he does the like gravity thing. Oh, I rolled. Sun it with the flames and then rot it. That's a good idea, actually. I don't wait. You don't have Elden Ring DC. Why not? I thought it would have been your kind of thing. Do you have to be on torrent? Yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh, I see what you're going for, Arsis. I see what you're going for. I like your thinking. Where I just literally leap off into the spring. Balls. So you had an IRL fight? Oh, I'd fight Dave. I'd, I'd win. I'd win. I'd definitely win. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's definitely a little bit safer than the ladder. Um, so we're literally just running in a circle here to avoid this. And then he does that. I need him to do something that I can like... Oh, balls. Imagine Torrent had a, you know, Torrent has like a dash, but it's like just for running faster. Imagine he had like a, like you could Bloodhound step Torrent and Torrent had like a, an invulnerability period. Oh my God, it would make mounted combat a lot cooler, but it would also make it really OP, I guess. That'd be cool to see in the DLC if they like balanced some, like maybe just one new like encounter around that. If Torrent rolls, <gasps> Like a goat! That would be cool! Like, they would have to make an encounter, like, proper, like, balanced around that, though. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. So he does this, he does this, and then he does a big one. And then one-shots me. Hmm. That is probably the longest like recovery move that he has. I <laughs> took a butt to the head. Oh, I wish Torrent also had like a charge with his horns. <gasps> Wouldn't do any damage, but just knocked mobs down. That would be so cool. Again though, I think that would be really powerful. <laughs> 
In Ratchet and Clank 2, you can do Clank only missions. If the DLC was just Torrent and no Tarnished. <laughs> I mean, sure. Oh, I was late in casting. I've made a mistake. <laughs> uh, I've made a mistake. I don't think I can get back there. I can't, can I? Oh. Um, there's a bit that looks... No, I can't. I can't... Ah! This is so sad. Oh. I could not make that. No flipping way. Right. Um, the spring is, is way over there. That's too far away. I won't be able to make that. Uh, going round here is literally just Volcano Manor, like, we can't get back. Can't get back. Do you know what? I was just going with my flipping instincts. I was just trying to get away. Ugh! Oh, it's fine. So now we know not to do that. Do you know what, though? I got the rot. I got it. We just have to- I just have to not hold the dragon breath down. We have to do it over, like, two cycles. And then we'll wait for the rot to run out. And then when I go back up, I'll have an ash and I'll have my bubble. So that's a good plan. Okay. Need to try and remember where the, right, the spring is to the north. Yeah, it's to the north. That's easy to remember. If I can get you to do that gravity thing. Here we go. Oh. That was one tick of it and it was still too long. Can you stand on the pointy bit and cast the rock? Well, you would just like, you would, you would just like run here. <laughs> oh wait, I see. Cause he wasn't coming all the way out to the edge. Um, I think he would still be able to, like, tail whip and stuff like that. Got the scaly ashes. I do, I haven't leveled them up though. Yeah, he could still probably, like, throw rocks and stuff. What if I... Yeah, he's still doing this. Betty. And oh, I've been here for too long. I think I'm gonna have to just go do something else because I had a lot of things to do today and this was actually not one of them. Have you considered what arrows are bombs? Um, that would probably be a lot better than the dragon breath, huh? Because it would be faster. Yeah, you're right. That would be a lot better. Yeah, I think for this boss, just the breath is too slow. So we're gonna need to try something different. Uh, I'm gonna just go back down my shopping list. So 
Uh, we got the Bloodhound Claws. Venomous Fang is in the abandoned cave in Kaled. Now, this is the little poison uh, claw that I was going to try and get. So let's go and try and get that. We will come back here. I will need to kill this, but I'm just... Um, I don't want to spend all day doing it, really. I'd rather spend all day making some kind of progress. I, is that the abandoned cave? I'll need to look it up. Uh, Celia. Oh no, that's Celia Crystal Tunnel. That's Gale Tunnel. Uh, abandoned Cave is the one that's sort of like on the edge of the cliff. Okay. Could you push him off with repel? Oh, that would be brilliant, but I've got a funny feeling, probably not. I've got a nice big shopping list of all the different arrows and stuff to collect. Uh, and the like crafting and ones that there's some that we can buy, but then some that we have to craft. Yeah, we got Radan, Eowyn, it was really hard. <laughs> Like everything was a one shot. It was I. I actually got him by rotting him, and then summoning all the dudes to distract him. You have to find fathoms for the ingredients. Oh, I actually quite like that. That could be something really chill. Like just like if this game starts to get a bit frustrating, having something just to go and farm like to chill is uh, is actually really appealing. So it's this one here, isn't it? I think it's this one. Oh, this is a rock cave. Oh no. It's fine. I just want the yeah, abandoned cave. I just want the venomous. What's it called? Venomous fang. It's in here somewhere. I don't know where. <laughs> the serpent now is in this cave. Also, the serpent. Oh wait, is this the Estelle cave? Oh, we're not gonna kill that. Not yet. Just realized that this boss is the one that's after him. Ignore me. No, well, you don't. You could have. You could have. I could have been doing it out of sequence. Oh, I've got. It's. It's becoming really hard to ignore this like tummy ache. I wonder if standing might be less painful. You could kill Radan with just the arena summons. Mm, but they die. Oof. Pain. Don't drink. Don't drink alcohol. If they die, you can resummon them. Yeah, once. You can summon them all twice. It's not infinite, I don't think. <clears throat> Drinking is great, Nikki, but I feel horrible. <laughs> Got such bad tummy cramps. It's because of the cocktails. Oh, I had a lovely time and it was worth it, but it's really impeding my ability to work today. The arena shamans keep coming back. Really? Maybe the, um, hmm. Maybe the signs just, um, move then because the signs disappear for me. Oh, I should have put all my things into uh, health. Oh, that's a one shot. I'm gonna put all my flasks into health. Nikki, you cut! <laughs> Hi, side boob! There's a delay on the summon signs reappearing. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. You learn something new every day.
Yeah, there you go. Hmm. Kind of wish I had known that. <laughs> I wish I had known that for my Radan. Hmm. Oh well. Right, wait for that to pop and then we go. Wait. There we go. It's gonna pop. It's gonna pop. Okay, it pops. Mm, is it there? Is it that one? No, that's just a grease balls, balls, balls. Oh, we got rotted. Never mind. I tried very hard not to. <laughs> My way is more impressive. Oh, well, I guess, no, with the rot breath. I mean, it's still pretty cheesy, but, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> mm, is that it? Is that my claw? Ah! I thought it was done with the, with the, with the, with the exploding. Or maybe I have to jump over the top. Maybe it's just constantly exploding. Nothing is cheesy if you are level one. I kind of have to cheese because I haven't played this game enough to know <laughs> every move. That might have been the dot. Oh! <laughs> oh, I wasn't watching my health, was I? I love how this big ass heckin' claw looks. Wait, 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 can I? Uh, Yeah, I'm like a mole. I am a mole and I'm digging a hole. Dig, diggy hole. Dig, diggy hole. Chicka, 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 chicka. That's cool. I thought it was done with the exploding. Exactly, thank you. All right, here we go. All right, go, go, go. It takes down quite quickly. Ah! Right, I think I need to like jump over. Diggy diggy mole. <laughs> Hi Echo. He monks has redeemed a Zelda themed pickup line. You must be King oh. Dodongo because I really want to explode inside your mouth. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just gonna not look at you guys and just eat my brownie. The worst one. Why does it keep going off? If this isn't the- for trouble. Milador! Sabo! To protect non-subs from devastation. To rectify all people within, within our nation. Oh, that's to denounce the evils of advertisements. Oh, oh, oh. To extend our reach oh. to the emotes above. Gifts! Gift sub. Gifts! <laughs> Illidore, thank you very much for the two gifted subs! Hey, we hit the sub goal for the day! Thank you very, very much! Thank you for gifting Chunky Lover and Cat Dragon! Let's go! I love a Kit Kat Chunky and I also love dragons. Perfect! Yes! <laughs> Enjoy your subs, guys! Enjoy all your lovely things from lovely Hackin' Illidore! Hi, Bobbin! How are you doing? Welcome, me! Oh, me! Let's up. just fill it all up. Let's just fill it all up. Illidor, thank you so much for the 520 bits. That's today's daily stream goals all filled up. Thank you. Okay, so as always with the with the daily goals, there's a different surprise every stream. So today's surprise is um I said it was appearance related. Today's surprise we have the little Zelda cosplay. And it's so bright that it's keying out. 
pile of hats. Oh, that would be good. That could be that could be one for next week. This is today's surprise. Evie isn't here doing socks, so I had to I had to do a non Evie related surprise. Yeah. So today we're Zelda. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the support, guys. A pile of hats, you say? How many hats are we talking? <gasps> much cute, such a way. Aw, thanks. Should I, um, do you think I should, like, I wonder if I could maybe <laughs> fix the keying out, maybe? Hmm. <gasps> Pull the wop, 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 wop. I was gonna send these then Elida came along Rachel wub 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 doggo dig dog dingo Doggo thank you very much for the 200 bits thank you Let's go Well excuse me princess I can just see the little this little bit can like see it between my eyes Okay, so, um, but yeah, there's going to be different surprises every stream if we hit the goals, and some of them are going to be like cosplay related, some are going to be Eevee surprises, and some are going to be other things. Yeah, so it's going to be different every stream. <gasps> Viper! Just wanted to say I started Elden Ring a couple days ago with a controller, and I'm really enjoying it. Thanks for showing a fun side to it. Oh, I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Yes, that's awesome. That's great news. Great news. Oh! Okay, claws are pretty good. Claws are pretty good. Brenda would like a Lord of the Rings quote. I can't carry it for you, but I can carry you. That is the claws carrying me. <laughs> and everyone's donating points for our community challenge, which this summer is going to be... We tend to do two a year. This summer it's going to be a, an Elden Ring themed community stream. <gasps> no! Big hackies, where is this claw? Oh my days. Oh my days. Is this it? That's it, that's it, Venomous Fang, that's it. Okay, I wonder what the boss is here. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Excuse me, princess. Excuse me, princess. Echo, thank you for the hundred bits. <laughs> well, I'm poisoned. Don't. No. No. I don't have any thingies. Oh no. And they're rotted as well! Oh, that's so sad. Oh, I'm gonna die. Maybe we can get near the. Wait. Steak of Marika? I'm probably gonna die, but it's okay. Right, uh. Jellyfish. It's just one clean rot night, right? Are those the bloodhound? Oh no, it's two. Oh, oh! Of course, I'm poisoned. I'm such an idiot. Um, yes, I've got bloodhound claws, and now I've got venomous fangs. So I'm gonna, I'm planning to try and power stance them. That's the plan. Suddenly, Zelda. Hi. <laughs> Can confirm have a character with hook claws plus eight, and they wreck a ton of stuff. Uh, yeah, I just think I uh, have a good feeling about these. Look at him. <laughs> Look at the claws, like, on his waist. That's so funny. Cool, well, I got what we came for. So the plan is, right, if I put this, um, and then this is, like, a backup weapon. If I put this here. Uh, they sit on your waist. That's well weird. And then the L1 should attack with both. Okay, yeah. So the Venomous Fang does poison. And bleeds. It's got a big poison build up actually. Just the one swan actually. <laughs> Chunky is on that guy who's like on his tiny wee horse and you got all the summons. That's that's General Radan. He is a pain in the ass. He was so annoying at level one, like because everything kills you in one hit. But then again, you could be level flipping a hundred and everything kills you in one hit. He's so strong. Yeah, keep at it. Keep at it, he's hard. <laughs> I'm a fan of the poison middle finger weapon. <laughs> it's 
I don't know why it's meant to be a snake, right? But it's just got the one like big fang. <laughs> so my plan for this is we're gonna make the bloodhound fang cold. Bloodhound claws, sorry, not fang, claws. Cold, and we're gonna make the venomous fang. We're gonna keep it uh, non-elemental so that I can use the fire bleed buff on it. That's the plan. Wait, so that needs to be in my right hand if it's getting buffed. Yeah, I think that's how it works. Okay, we can get out of here. Uh, I can mark this because I haven't killed the boss. <gasps> no! Darks, thank you very much for choosing to continue your gift sub that you got from Stacy, and now you're like, yeah, I got this, I'm a get this. <laughs> thank you so much, thank you. Much appreciated. Oh, I'm suffering today, guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Trying to keep the stream good, though, but my tummy is in, like, it's in revolt. It wants to be elsewhere, it wants to be outside of me, if you know what I mean. I ran through the game so many times with those claws, especially in New Game Plus. You can power stance them with a second pair and do bleed, frost, and poison. Yeah, that's the idea. So I've got both of them. Wait, the venomous claw doesn't do bleed. It does poison. The bloodhound does bleed. So I'm going to make it cold. So it does bleed and cold. And then the venomous fang, I'm going to put this weapon buff on it so that it does bleed and fire. And the fire counters out the cold. It made sense in my head, okay? <laughs> the claws look like a crinoline thing. Don't know what that means. Ten tries so far. You gotta keep at it. You got I think it's it's uh, took me a lot more than that. <laughs> Afternoon, Aaron. That's me checked into my MCR hotel, and despite being price gouged, I think I got a decent deal. Bit swish this place. Oh, it's always worth spending a little bit extra for like. A nice trip away, you know? Oh my god, Dave, I'm hanging so hard. The only problem with these claws is that they level up with um, like normal smithing stones. And I actually think it's harder to level up the normal smithing stone weapons than the, um, the somber ones. I think it's easier to find somber stones. How do you level up your summons? So you have to get this Roderica lass. And you get her from after you do Godric. And then you get the the glove warts, the flowers. And that's how you level them up. Can't you just buy the regular stones? Mm-hmm. So you find the bell bearings and you can buy, I can buy up to plus four at the minute, which means I can get my weapon to plus 12. But in order to get the next bell bearing, I need to get to the mountaintops of the giants. So it's quite far through, which is a pain, but you know, we, you know, it's a uh, problem solving, a lot of problem solving, which I actually really like. It's like maybe my favorite bit. Okay, let's pop some rins. Get some runes to play with. Oh, my chemical romance though. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. Jelly. I'm seeing them in. How do you pronounce that? Is that baloney? Bologna? Sorry for my ignorance. In June. So I just go straight to the tunnel to get the bell bearing for the stones right away. Would that involve killing the falling star beast cam? It's a bit obscure. It's in the 19th century. Women would like wear like a cage. Oh, that thing. Yeah, got you. Yeah. I had something like that when I got married. Like my wedding dress had like a, a hoop. <laughs> oh, okay. Still stuck on Godric. Okay, cool. So it's the woman that gives you the jellyfish summon in the shack. You kill Godric and then you go back there and it turns out she's left you a seat and she teleports here to the round table so you like talk to her and then you talk to hugh and then you talk to her and then you talk to hugh and then she goes there <laughs> hi zimmy this might be a bit embarrassing but you're naked and no embarrassment no embarrassment at all <laughs> bologna it could be bologna that's the one. Oh, there you go okay 
This place is an open plan lobby so you can see the restaurant. Ooh, and I have a Japanese like wooden door blinds. Oh, like a sliding door? Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds fun. Okay, let me let me commence with my status ailments of death. No, I don't want strength and I want ashes of war. So I'm giving this one Wait, oh, my brain. So the weapon in your left hand is the one that gets the art of war, right? And then the weapon in your right hand is the one I'm buffing. So that means this has to be my, <laughs> my brain isn't working. This is in my right hand. But it says blood flame blades. So it's the weapon in your right hand that's the one that you get to do the Ash of War for. How much does it cost to duplicate an Ash of War? One lost Ashes of War. She also leaves a hood in Stormveil that ups vitality. Oh, I should grab that. I might need it. Oh. I gotta say, I'm I'm still uncomfortable standing. Maybe even more so. Oh, that's sad. I'm gonna get another glass of water, I think. Um, if anyone knows the answer to that. So obviously I'm gonna have a left-handed weapon and I'm gonna have a right-handed weapon. I wanna know, oh, the Ash of War is the one in the right hand. Doesn't the buff go on the hand opposite to your seal? Okay, so if I just have my seal in my right hand, then it'll buff my left hand. That is how we get around that, because then I have Bloodhound Step in my right hand. That's the plan. Cool, right, I need to go and grab another glass of water. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna run an ad because I may as well. It's only gonna be 60 seconds, it helps support the stream, and I'm not here anyway. <laughs> okay, be right back. You think biotic? He's, he's, I don't think he's my type. Troglodyte isn't really my type. Yeah, Dave, I'm trying it. I didn't realize it'd be this hard, actually. Can I convince you to jump back? Yes! Get out of your pal! Okay, this is a real law. You will be fined two cans of beer if you're a Scotsman caught wearing underwear under his kilt. You'll be fined two cans of beer. That is a real law. <laughs> if you're caught wearing underwear, you have to have your big hairy bollocks swooshing about. For everyone to see. Yep. Xena's a ball bag and he smells bad. Stinky ball bag. What is she singing, guys? What's she singing? I push my fingers into my eyes. It's the only thing that slowly stops the egg. But it's made of all of the things I have to take. Waiting for the birds. Come back. Oh, watch me just lose. Xeno is a ball bag and he smells bad. <laughs> Stinky ball bag. I've decided to sit again. <laughs> it's one of those days. <laughs> Ugh. Moan, moan, moan. Didn't he get an ad? Oh. Good. Don't complain because I ran them. <laughs> I ran them. You must have just got lucky. I don't know. I wouldn't say that I'm comfy, Ginge, but I'm trying. Certainly trying. I did. It was Amelia Clark, so I don't mind. <laughs> I wouldn't mind either. She's lovely. She's lovely. Right. So, claw in the right, seal in the right. I can't test it here. Um, blood flame blue on the venomous on the left. Okay, so that needs to be Ash of War, Bloodhound Step, and Cold. Right, I'm curious about this. So Bloodhound Step is a 
normal standard uh, ash of war but you do get like you've got blood ash of war you've got cold ash of war you've got etc so if i use the standard so bloodhound step cold it'll give me 66 frost build up my question is do you get more you don't ah okay because i would have thought that you would get more frost build up from a frost ash of war and a cold affinity see this is all like really like confusing i think when you're first learning it so i'm trying to learn it so you've got different elements on the ashes of war and then with each ash uh, you then have different affinities. An affinity determines scaling, basically. So no matter what, on a cold ash of war, uh, it's gonna have... Oh, it doesn't have frost buildup on the weapon itself, but obviously the ash of war will have frost buildup on it. That's okay, that's good, I'm, I'm getting it now. You need to make it the cold affinity to have frost buildup on the weapon itself. Okay, so this does drop my blood loss build up to 45, but it's got a 66, like, frost build up. It's pretty good. For how fast it can hit, it's pretty good. <laughs> um, affinity also adds your status. What do you mean by your status? My crown keeps like, it's like wonky. Do I have a wonky head? Maybe I have a wonky head. Anto's in bed, so very calm, nice. Does this mean you'll be keeping hard frost? No, we're gonna go with um, Bloodhound Step and then make it cold. This one, I need to keep it standard. So we could put anything on it, I could put Storm Stomp on it, it doesn't matter because I'm not gonna be using it. Um, and we make it quality because my strength and dex are the same amount or do we make it standard 92 plus 16 or 79 plus 21 it's better standard why is that does quality i'm guessing quality uh like dips the base damage down so quality would be good if I had like 25 strength and 25 dex, but I think standard is maybe better. <gasps> Hi, Caneb. Good morning. Hi, Skiva. Good morning slash good evening slash good afternoon here in the UK. Quality gives you better scaling and scaling is useless at level one, really. Unless I'm using like, obviously I've got the scar seals and the sore seals and the if I use a great rune, obviously that'll give me loads more stats. My tier has a plus 10 strength on it. So while my tier is active, that'll be... It's six and two threes, really. We're not using these for the damage. We're using them for the build up, like the, the, the build ups, so. I'm just gonna go with quality, I think. If you aren't leveling up to scaling matter. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So, but the reason that I've kept it quality is because I want to put this blood, blood flame blade on it. So this is a bleed, um, it's like a weapon buff. I last like 60 seconds or something. Um, this will do bleed and it'll also do fire damage as well. So that is gonna cancel out the frost from the bloodhound claw. In, if this if this works right if this works it's genius if it doesn't work we had fun trying <laughs> right <laughs> okay um so that's them with the right affinities now i just have to level them up i'm probably gonna need more runes for that yeah it's maybe too big brain ginge it's maybe like one of those things that sounds good on paper that isn't actually that good in practice, maybe? I don't know. Also, the great thing is about having like a flat weapon buff is it's not gonna matter if my seal is at like base level. I don't have to level that up. Um, let's get some more, might need some more. Yeah, that's the plan anyway. Oh, 
Oh, it's a bold strategy, Cotton. We'll see if it pays off for her. Right, so what was that? Two and two. So we have to buy 10, 20 smithing stone ones. And then 24 smithing stone twos. Oh, geez. It's going to be expensive to level up both these two claws. But if this works, oh my god, I'm going to be putting all the statuses on. And then I could have wrought arrows. I'm guessing wrought arrows are pretty rare to get. Oh, um, offer bell bearing, like my guy. I'll need to check. Ginger's, Ginger sent me a bunch of notes on where you can find all the arrows in that. Right, wind in your sails, wind in your sails. <laughs> yeah, you can craft them, Caneb, I think so. Yeah, rot bone. I think I have the, the thing for it, actually. Yeah, rot bone. <gasps> Aeonian butterfly. Is what you need. Thin beast bone. See when it says fletched. Does that just, that just means it like travels further, doesn't it? It's got like more range. I think. Yeah, more distance. Mm. I maybe don't need that, but... Mm -hmm. This is costing big monies. Ooh, Ski Bum's doing a great sword playthrough. I'm doing that off stream and I'm trying to do it without summoning ashes. Oh my God, colossal weapons are so good, right? Oh, these are getting expensive now. Right, let's have a wee think. So I'm pretty much not gonna be able to use anything that these remembrances can give me, eh? And then if I heck up and I actually need one of them, I can always clone them. Now we're talking, 20k, okay, so I bought nine, so I need another uh, three plus at 15. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, right, let's go level these up. <laughs> yes, everyone, get your points in for the Elden Ring Pokemon challenge, it's going to be a good time. A monk playthrough is fun, magic and fists and no armor. <gasps> Does that mean Bobby is like half a monk? He's got the no armor and the fists bit. Well, claws. Claws aren't fists. He's got the no armor bit down. Hi, Wart. Welcome in. I call my character Ski Smash. Smash, smash. Three, four, five, six, seven. So we should be able to get to plus 12. Smithing stone four is now. Okay. They're both at plus 10. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. It's taken the frost up to 81. That's a big like frost. So for comparison, okay, my Uchi was at plus 13 and it gets to 86. That is really good that the frost like goes up as you level it up. Yeah, love it. And the poison is 72. This is exciting. And we're gonna come up against a boss that cannot be like poisoned or rotted and I'm gonna poop myself. <laughs> It's gonna happen. But then I'll have my Reduvia. I'll have my little dagger as well. That's like my backup. Lion's Claw is a great Ashes of War. Oh, the one I'm using is the Grafted Greatsword. So it's got like the, it's got the buff Ash of War, the one that gives you five of all stats and huge poise. And I liked that one. Uh, what does Lion's Claw do? Thank you very much everyone for putting your points in. It's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a spectacle, I promise. Yeah, I don't think I have enough runes on me to get the level fours. Oh yeah, maybe actually I've got the remembrances. 20k for that one. And Redans. Redans has gotta be a lot. It's gotta be more than 20. 40! Okay, there we go. <gasps> Look at my runes, my runes are amazing. I've still got the big dragon alive in Kaled as well. Um, for 80,000 runes. So that's good. 
that'll be like that's like a for for emergencies for rainy days i've left him alive her i think it's her i think she's meant to be like mother of dragons right plus 11 plus 12 oh wait we can get to plus 16 right no plus 14 okay but to get further we need smithing stone fives okay okay Wait, why is that one only 13? Oh, I see. I must have already had two smithing stone fives. Okay. Okay, we got a 14 and a 13. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Yeah. It's 95-ish if you have a gold foot. Oh, I thought it was 82. It does a forward flip and it hits. Oh, that's cool. That must do big, like, stagger damage as well. Yeah, that is cool. Ooh, right. I want to test these out now. But I've got 40,000 runes that I've just popped that I, that I can't use. And I'm probably going to lose. That's so sad. Um, wait, why don't I try and buy... Why don't we try and buy some arrows with this? Let's find my notes. Where'd my... Oh, I've closed Discord. Okay. Uh, oh, I was wondering about a better bow as well. The red branch short bow. Ah, oh, you didn't say where it's found, Ginge. Uh, what am I wanting? Blood bone. Oh yeah, the bleeding arrows as well. Trying to make sense of these notes. <laughs> Tis been day, apparently. Tis been day. Hi, Zix. Thank you very much for the resub. Oh my fluffing god, you scared me. Get in the bin. <laughs> thank you, Zix. How are you? Thank you so much for the tier three and thank you for the 39 months. Holy flipping butts, man. Holy bins, Batman. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so bleed arrows are called blood bone arrows. I don't have that already, do I? I've got bone, magic bone, fire bone, rot bone, bone, magic bone, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we have to go to um, Fort Height to try and find the cookbook, the recipe book for these arrows. This seems like a really good place to test out the new weapons and hopefully I don't die and lose all my runes. Or if we die, hopefully we don't die twice. Okay. Dave wants a Lord of the Quotes. It's mine. My own. My love. My precious. I didn't really spend time, like I didn't, I did them all in one take. I just sat and I recorded 80 of them. I didn't I didn't re-record any. I didn't spend time making sure they were perfect. So they're all a bit scuffed, which I think is actually funnier. That was Elrond, yeah. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh, I need to be picking up the Trina's lilies if for we flipping god skins. Because we've got to send them to sleep. Heck. Okay, so it's not out the back. It must be in the fort. Any live research? <gasps> um. Um. Yeah, isn't there a... Uh, oh. Wait, wait. Where's my jewel wield? There's my jewel wield. Here you go. Okay. Wait, why did that do... That did less damage jewel wielding than when I just had one of them. Oh, it's because they don't actually have a lot of health. Okay, yeah, getting getting used to dual wielding is uh, taking some time. Obviously, we can still do the jump attack as well. Look at his hands, man. It's so funny. Radan is my only problem. Oh, Radan was hard. Yeah. 
Perfect delivery, what do you mean? I'm glad you think so. Wait, is this it? <gasps> that could be it, nomadic warrior. Can I now make the rot? No, blood bone arrows. Okay, now I can make the blood bone. I need thin beast bones. So I'm sure Ginge said something about like, you don't have to farm them, you can buy them. Thin beast bones. Mm, or maybe Ginge didn't say it, maybe I found it and it was like somewhere you can buy them. You have to kill the matey outside of the capital. You can find a bell bearing for them. The matey outside the capital? The guy that's up here, there's a merchant up here. Is it this one? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. Perfect. So that's the War Master Shack. The invader gave me the. Oh no, that guy. The cookbook unlocks what you can craft. Yeah. So to get new recipes, you have to find the cookbooks. So you find them and you can also buy them. Yeah, I recommend definitely like trying to definitely buy all of them when you find a merchant that sells them. But some of them are hidden, like that one we just found. Because I'm not like 100% exploring in, in this playthrough because I'm sort of just running past everything. So I missed that one before. I can buy bones, but I'm not this far in. Mm. It's maybe, maybe two different merchants sell them. Right, get the grace. This is where the flying skeleton is. I don't know if it's only at night though. Hi. Oh, that's, oh, there he is. That's the flying skeleton. There he is. Where's, where, there he is, look. <laughs> I keep doing, instinctively doing R1, but I need to get in the habit of doing L1. For a crafting book, Fort Height is almost, always my first stop. Blood grease is way too useful. Oh, so that one gets you blood grease and blood bone arrows. It's the arrows that I'm trying to get. No, don't rest. It's fine. Okay, so this guy, this guy sells them. Purchase. Hmm. No, he doesn't. Oh no, but I need to, the invader guy. The, I need to kill the invader guy. Okay. Well, he does sell golden arrows. They do, oh, highly effective against those who live in death. Okay. Gotta collect them all, Noodle, naturally. Where's my statuses? There's my cold! Wow! Wow! Okay. Um. Interesting. So now for this boss guy, I'm gonna put the wait for past time till nightfall. We should get invaded. It'd be nice to beat Radan before Red Wolf and Renala so I can get the mimic. Oh, early mimic. Cool. Wait, that's not, that's not working. Why is that not working? It says enchants right hand armament with blood flame. It maybe has to be in your right hand. That would be nonsensical if so. It is! It has to be in the right hand. So that means I need to put Bloodhound Step on the Venomous Fang. Change it to night and then re-fast travel and the invader will show up. Oh, you can just, you can just rest, right? 
It needs to be night and then you rest. I must have been wrong, I'll find the bone. No, it should be this guy. It should be it should be this guy that invades me, Jin. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I'll try without I don't think I need the 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 dash for this. I'll try without. This should be cool though. My little fire fist. Wait, rest, rest, rest. <laughs> okay. Was that a non sun? Brenda, thank you very much for the gift sub. Thank you for gifting that sub. I was kind of getting the hang of that and then I died. Thank you for getting that sub to Ski Bomb! Thanks, Brenda. Mm, now we need to fast forward to nighttime and then rest again. I think this is the Warmaster one. Oh, wait, so this it's not this guy at all? Dropped by. Oh! Oh, okay. It's not this invasion. Oh, it is this guy. Stormhill Limgrave. This isn't Limgrave. This is flipping Altus Plateau. The Limgrave one is like Warmaster Shack is here. Yeah, no, it's cool. We'll go get it. This guy will be much easier. The shield in the left will always have the Ash of War. Otherwise, the Ash of War only applies to the right hand. So because I, it's not a shield, because it's a melee weapon, it's the right hand. That probably makes sense, but I wasn't, um, I wasn't aware. Because when I was my first playthrough, I used a shield. So I had in my head, like, it's the, oh, it's the left hand that has the ash. Or, well, no, the, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, you can only put an incantation on the right hand. All right. Okay. Oh, I don't want to be in the corner here. Um, sir? Hi! Okay, got a bit greedy. But he's poisoned now! <gasps> well, that terrified me. Oh. I'm learning. I'm learning new weapons. Yeah. Don't put baby in the corner. Don't put Rachie in the corner. Poison is obviously not as good as rot. So, and I need to keep attacking so I can get my frost built up as well. That's cool though. That's good. I like the playstyle. I somehow miss where that incantation came from. Oh, tired. It's because I got it off stream. I got it this morning. This is from. Hang on, I'll pass time. This is from, just from a scarab, so you can get it. It's really easy to get. It's in Liarnia of the Lakes. I'll show you where it was. Right here, so it's sort of like, uh, this is Rose Church. So it's sort of like just here, it's between Rose Church and the Temple Quarter. It's on a little scarab. Um, a rot bomb would be a really good idea. Like I should definitely like craft some stuff like that. I don't have the recipe for a rot bomb. 
You could cheese with the flame and then just go ham. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's the strat. That's the strat. So this needs to be in this hand. I'm not going to bother with these because it's just confusing me. I like that though. I like that. So if we go... Wait, I need to rest. <laughs> okay, do this. Put this on. Buffing in this game is like there's so many buffs you can do. Right, and then I can do this. So we're gonna try, the aim would be to like try and knock him down, right? And then while he's down. Oh. Uh, okay, I fumbled. I'm not used to having so many weapons equipped. Okay, that's my bubble gone. Is he gonna charge me? shouldn't have greeted shouldn't have greeted <laughs> and maybe it's worth saying my whole first playthrough of this game was a pure sorcerer so i'm so not comfortable getting like up close with things um i'm not even using a shield what is wrong with me did i lose my runes there did i not pick them up i did oh that's a shame oh it's fine we can get more that is a shame though i got uh Got mixed up. Everybody get your points in. Get your points in. Let's go, let's go. Up close is scary, exactly, kind of. Something is making an almighty racket, and I don't know if it's my PC or my PS5. <sighs> okay, we'll try that again. <laughs> but yeah, he. I think he staggers in like two... Um, flame in the red mains, which is really good. He's not got huge poise. He's stuck on a tree. Oh, but they, of course the sword can go through a tree. <gasps> ah! It goes back to him. It's a boomerang. It's a boomerang. Comes back to him. Um. Yeah, the stunning thing. It's good. It's just loads to think about, I suppose. Hello, Purbarus! Good morning! Yeah, Sorcerer is OP. I did that on my second playthrough. So much of the, the late game is just a joke with magic. It's crazy. I was yesterday days old when I learned I can spin my staff and it does huge damage. Yeah, the uh, I guess you've got the you've got the Carrion Carrion Royal Staff, eh? Yeah, it's good. A sword attack? Oh, do you know what? The thing is, like, it's super easy to dodge. I just keep making mistakes. Because I'm learning. Not bad, just learning. Okay, now I'm spam rolling. That would be the the stun. OK, 
Okay, let's go back up close. Wait, did my blood flame blades run out when I two-handed? I think it ran out. Oh my god, man! Woo! Oh my god, I've just pulled wolves! I've just pulled some wolves! This is so bad! Why did I do that? Oh, I knew I rolled too early there. Just had a realization. I'll never have to write an essay again for the rest of my life. Damn, Brad. I mean, you do if you go into a line of work with uh, essay writing in it. <laughs> I guess. That's really cool though. It must feel good, especially if you hate writing. Only way I beat this guy was going out of range and rock slinging him. Yeah, it's it's definitely really difficult, like, being used to, like, 190 hours playing this game as a caster and suddenly trying to do it up close is scary. I'm having a lot of fun learning. And like I said, you guys just tell me the moment that it stops being fun to watch and we do something else. <laughs> oh, I reckon I could get two... I was doing so well, and now UJ is here, and I just want to say that I just it correlates with me doing worse. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about it too much now. I think I can get three full like L ones in before he like actually aggro's because he takes forever zoning in. Excuse me, princess. <laughs> Bobby will never not be fun to watch, but he's dying a lot. Hi dog, welcome in. We're we're dying a lot. <laughs> I cannot compare to thee. <gasps> compare me to a summer's day, UJ. Compare me to a summer's day. I think what I'm gonna do off stream is like com uh, compare. is try to do a few like little cave bosses and uh oh that one came close that makes sense and like get used to my claws if i just like sort of stay back and let him uh let him be poisoned that's not what I want to do though. I want to get good though. Ah! I was rolling! That is so unfair! I was literally rolling! I was literally- I finished my drink and then that roll should have been perfectly timed. It must have been like frames, man. <sighs> A summer's day, so I trigger your hay fever and make your skin burn. I uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 I, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> That's the effect I get. Oh, when you when you see me, yeah, it's true. It's it's probably true. Oh, I could have got more! <gasps> that 
scared me. <laughs> I was careful to like go too far back because I remember the wolves came when we did that. Ginger and good weather just don't mix. We've discussed this. I feel a lot of eating inputs with this game. Eating inputs? <gasps> Hi, Chess. That is a sword, not a boomerang. Uh, these, these are claws on my waist. <laughs> yeah, um, starting to get a bit embarrassing now. I feel like I should be doing this sort of practice off stream because nobody needs to know, nobody needs to know how like bad I am, really. People need to think that I'm good. We're learning. Yeah? Really slowly. Oh, come on! What is that combo? I got like a mega, I got a mega, um, I'm still wearing my faith talisman as well. <gasps> Must have just caught me. His poison's run out already. I want him to do like the charge again. I'm scared, he's scaring me. See, maybe this is where I should just have like my bow and just. I got it done <laughs> and that's what counts that's what counts in RL1 just getting it done bone peddlers bell bearing that's what we wanted Bobby wait is that the first boss I've killed today no I did the I did the knight's cavalry okay now we can make bleed arrows no but now we can buy bones that's it now we can buy bones cool it was just good practice if it's stupid and it works it's not stupid that's true I, was so, I knew it was going to hit me, Gally, but I knew I was going to kill him. So I just went for it. <laughs> Drinking some coffee with my Don't Rage Quit coaster. The best kind of coaster, T. The best kind. Um, yeah, so I think what I learned from that is, like, that I need to just... The thing is, this build, so this like claw build, it's probably not good for RL1 because it relies on like being really up close, being really aggressive to get the status effects, but I can't get hit. So I have to like dodge everything, which is long. Uh, wait, Chess, I like seeing you do stuff like this, showing it's okay that it takes a bit longer to defeat something. Like, if Rachel does it in 20 tries, I should be able to do it in 100. No, you'd be so much better at that. You'd be so much better at that, Chess. I, like, literally, I'm trying something totally new for me. Yeah, a win's a win. A win's a win. Yeah, I'm, like, Glass Cannon, which I, I don't think is very good for level 1. 
Although, I get one shot either way. It's practice for hitless. <laughs> well, I've got the patience. Like, I don't mind, in my head, I don't mind dying because I just know how long it takes to learn. But I guess from a business point of view, I'm like, oh my God, is this boring? Like, is this boring to watch? Um, okay, so done that. Uh, what's next on my notes? Where's where's a fun thing we can go into and go to now? So I've done that. Oh, I need to fix my ashes. That's right. We'll fix my ashes of war. <gasps> Simi, I love watching this. Oh my god, thank you. <sighs> Rachel isn't okay. Okay, right. You can tell me a million times, and I'll still be worried. Peter would like a Zelda pickup line as long as it's not King Dodongo because we've already had it today. Are you an Ember Seed? Because I think you are smoking hot. Okay. Okay, thank goodness. Yeah, if, if I'm going to die in one hit anyway, I may as well go all in with the damage and the debuffs. Yeah, exactly. But I think if I was using Bloodhound Fang, you know, the big, like, two-handed, like, it's like a... It's like a great sword and it's curved and it does bleed. If I was doing that with jump attacks, it'd be GG easy. Like I honestly think from my great sword playthrough on my other playthrough that if I was doing that, it would be super easy. But I am afflicted. I'm afflicted with, a, with an affliction <laughs> where I can't just use what everyone else is using. I can't, I need to like try something different, even if it's worse. <laughs> and it's not fair. <laughs> yeah. I love how unfrustrated you get. I guess if I'm ever frustrated, Bungie, you'll know that it's, um, that it's just because I want you guys to have the best stream possible, really. That's, that's where the frustration comes from. People only showing their highlights of defeating bosses put me off these games because I thought I was so bad at them. Oh my god, Zimmy, try being me comparing myself to like all of the gods of souls and I'm just like, why can't I do what they do? <laughs> but I can. In Dark Souls 1. I can. Just not in this one. <laughs> yeah, so for an RL1, I only level my weapon, Skibum. Yeah. I can't level my character. So I get one shot by like everything. <laughs> Purple! Redeemed a Yoshi impression. Okay, let's, let's have a little sippy sippy. <laughs> Fun words are I have the same affliction, right? Anti meta gang gang. But also, I know that if I ever start to really struggle, I can just go get that weapon and I really don't care. Like, do you know what I mean? So like, if I start to really struggle, I'll be like, I'm gonna go get the Bloodhound Fang. With no shame. Oh. <laughs> Correction, Correction. Rach. You can't end this one yet. Oh. <laughs> I was so confused because I immediately, I said that and then immediately forgotten what I'd said. I can't do that in this one yet one day p months are you guys up for are you guys up for coming along on the journey from zero to hero uh but p max pop mal the the p buddies i'm so hungover thank you for the hundred bits a teacher still not used to the badge p body yeah uh, no I don't know. <laughs> Rolling only Dark Souls 1 was so much fun. Hi, Frank! Welcome in. I am hungover. Level 1, but having a lovely time. A lovely old time. <laughs> the amount of people that ask, like, have you got the Mimic tier? I used the Mimic tier for Rye cards. That was great. Um... But then other than that, I don't think I used it much. Saw the Zelda cosplay, so no better time than to press the Zelda pickup line. Exactly. 
Oh, it was. I was like, where's the sound effect? It was just late. D DJC Colin, thank you very much for the. Oh, how many was that? I can't count. Biddies, thank you for the biddies. Ten, ten biddies. <laughs> thank you. <sighs> I saw Melania get owned, but Power Stance Hammers. Oh, I can't wait to do her. Dot 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 on my on this playthrough. Can't wait to do her again. In general. I'm using Stonehawk Dean. I like I like Dean. It dives pretty fast. But it gives you a nice sweep off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've been here for the journey the entire time. I'm hiding in your backpack. <laughs> Volka, did I miss the surprise? So today's surprise is a uh, cosplay. So the surprise is different every day. Uh, some days it's gonna be Eevee related and some days it's gonna be cosplay related. So today's it's we've got Zelda ears and crown. And you don't know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a surprise every day. Because people like that. Yeah, I'm like, I don't wanna use the Mimic tier because everyone else is, because it's really good. <laughs> oh, Tish? Mm. See, this is the thing. I feel like everyone is using Tish now. Lutal is my baby, but I used her. I'm liking Rotten Stray, he just dies so fast. Stupid question, but has that daily stream goal been there the whole time? No, this is only the second stream that I've had it. Actually, we've hit it now, so I can uh, remove it. Um, But yeah, I just, um, I just, it's gonna be a really expensive summer for me, Chess, so I've just got a, a little goal for each stream. And then it's got a little surprise if it hits. <laughs> the Headless Knight is a beast. Yeah, Lutal, I love Lutal. Benny's back. Has Gideon had his prostate examination yet? No, I'll have to do that. I will have to do that. Mimic tier got nerfed. Yeah, but it's still really good, Aaron. Yeah. Anyone recommend any early game summoning ashes besides the wolves? <gasps> Aurelia, the jellyfish. 100% jellyfish ashes are so good. Um, ashes of war. We need to swap. We need this to have the bloodhound step. Yeah, remove from cold bloodhound claws. Yes. And you need to be. Oh, I can't make you quality now. I can only make you keen. What if I put golden vow on these? Oh, but then I can't make it cold. Okay. Flame of the red mains. I can't make it cold. Okay, that makes sense. I'm, I'm still learning about affinities and, and stuff like that. <sighs> Tish is so late game. Yeah, you'd have to do Rani's whole quest, but she really helps with things like Melania, Malekith, and Radigan and, and, and the last boss and, and the last bosses that some people haven't done yet. <laughs> My Mimic Tier Sorcerer is all but useless. Always does the wrong sorceries or dies. Yeah, it's not going to work for every build. It's going to be really bad for my build. I actually have the Mimic Tier. I have it. I just can't summon it. <laughs> Skellies are good. That's right. Um, I need... So the reason I went with Rot Dog is because I'm going for statuses. Um, and the reason I've got marionettes was because I wanted like, uh, they're like turrets. So they're really good for my sort of style as well on level one. Lutal is, is Lutal one of the ones from one of the graves? Oh no, wait, that's, so wait, Oleg is the, the first grave. Is Lutal, I'm not sure, I can't actually remember. Yeah, Tish is the hardest ever jail in the game. Yeah. It's a good reward. <laughs> Banish Knight Engval is pretty good. Just got, but haven't tried. Oh, Pumpkinhead as well. There's so many good ashes. So many good ones. I know that if we did... Oh, I've got it. The ancestral, you know, the cow, the like cow guy with the magic bow. Is he good? Would that be good for me? I should probably just stick with one and actually level it up. 
uh, sorry, uh, but Tish teaches from, you have to do Rami's whole quest line to get to access to the area in the southwest of Lyurnia in order to get that Everjail to get Tish. Yeah, so she's really late game. If you ever want to discuss last boss stuff, I don't mind, I can mute. No, nah, we're good. It was literally just a passing comment on how Tish would make the last boss a lot easier. <laughs> Anna Lemon Meet Tears. No, no. Did Nikki visit or did she dog map Evie? She visited, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the FP, Mozart, you would get around the FP cost with the, the tier, the flask tier that lets you have infinite FP. From near the minor air tree near Castle Mort. Oh, that's where you get Tish. Okay, that's really early on then. Apparently that Wolf Lady Ash is a turret one too. <gasps> With a big old bow. That could be good. Ancestral Follower is awesome. That's all I've used. How is he like tanky wise? Because I might level him up. No, I've got marionettes. Apparently the marionettes are really good. They just don't move. Hawk Ashes. I leveled up my Hawk to plus 10 and it never really impressed me much. Poop boy is a good summon. Oh yeah, Charlie. <gasps> we could do that. We could get poop boy. Will we get poop boy this playthrough? Yes. He mainly does a powerful ranged boy, boy and arrow. <laughs> ranged boy. He's quite tanky, especially once leveled. I used him to pull arrow ping pong. Ah, okay. That sounds really good. Mm-hmm. Infinite FP, mm hmm So the, uh, sorry, let me just do this. So I need to put, uh, I need to be cold. I need to put. Storm uh, Storm. Or uh, Horfro Storm. Yeah, Horfro Storm. So that has, well, it's seven, that's in my right hand. And that's gonna be the one that I use the ash for. Yes. Perfect. Okay, I'm all sorted. I'm all sorted. <laughs> Poop boy and Tish are the best summons in the whole game. But like Dung Eater, you're not going to get unless you... Uh, I, I hecked up the end of his quest, didn't I? Oh! I have not hecked it up. I had in my head I gave this to Nefali, but I didn't. Poop boy! Poop boy! Right. Bell, bell hunting in the bell. Bell, 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 bell. Making some raw adders. Our chase, some small bones. Rot bone adder. Oh, I've got the. I need to go butterfly farming. That is something I will absolutely do off stream. Don't know, don't worry. I hacked it up before I knew that Poop Boy as a summon was a thing. I feel like that's what first playthroughs are for though. Hacking stuff up. Don't even get me started on what I managed to do to Bok. Who is Poop Boy? The loathsome dung eater. Wait, will she ride the wolves? Yeah, oh, uh, Latena, yeah. So if you summon her near some like enemy wolves, she will ride them. <laughs> the loathsome dung eater. Okay, what's next on my shopping list? Where was I going? I'm sorry I'm so slow today. I'm so tired. Uh, so there is a thing called the, the exaltation talisman that means when something is bleeding nearby, you do more damage. That is from Moog, right? That is from killing Moog. Am I right? I hope I'm wrong. Oh, wow, this is, look at my forehead. This is actually like starting to hurt. I think I had it on too tight. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's from Moog. Mini, oh, wait, is it from Moog in the sewer? Moog in the sewer doesn't scare me. <gasps> Only wolf I want to ride is blind, if you know what I mean. Either from killing him or from the area he's in. Oh, if it's not from killing him, then I can go and get that. I also need white mask varies. 
white mask. Is that from finishing his quest? I think this is all like extra stuff, so I can, yep. Uh, let's see. I need some, uh, I need some smithing stone fives as well. Maybe we could go find like a little cave or something. Yeah. I've got so many notes. There's also, is there not the mushroom helmet? That's from the Lake of Rot, I think. And the mushroom helmet means that when something is poisoned, whether it's you or the enemy, something's poisoned nearby, you get like a damage buff. I've got here Alexander Talisman. Now, now that we've done Redan, um, I can kill Alexander and then my skills will do more damage. So that, I wanted that when we were using Flame of the Red Mains a lot. But that's not necessarily the case anymore. Turtle Shield was also an idea. It might be worth just picking it up. Oh yeah, the Sage's Cave drops. It has a chest piece in it that makes you do more jumping attack damage. Something I'm not really doing with the claws because I'm doing the L1 attack. There's, you should see my notes. I've just got so many things where I'm like, would this be good? Would this be good? Would this be good? Would this be good? Oh, oh no, battery's low. <clears throat> uh, I would like the crystal tier that makes you do more dex rather than strength. I don't know if I have that. No. I think that's quite easy to get. <gasps> Ooh, Sally, your crystal tunnel has fives. Oh, we can go there. Get revenge on the shrimpies. That's quick to get to. <gasps> we could get revenge on the flipping, um, a falling star beast as well. And he drops some stones too. That's a brilliant idea. It would um like light up when it was charging. Shrimps are tasty. Oh god, the shrimp is the heckin' prunes. Yeah, let's go there. Let's let's go there. I did I already take the warp? No, I didn't. Okay, dokie. Oh man, the memories of uh, finding this by accident on our first playthrough. If you guys didn't uh, like, if you guys are new, um, you're cute. Uh, but no, if you're new. Um, I, my first playthrough was really good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, I'm having it cut down, expertly so, I may add, uh, for YouTube. The first couple bits you'll notice are, like, a bit slower because I was doing it and I didn't really know, like, I didn't really realise the scope of, uh, how long it was going to take to do the whole playthrough. But then uh, Hannah, confined to the ocular, took over. And she's doing them like, she's, we're being really brutal. It's mostly, it's, gonna, it's like a highlight reel, basically. A long highlight reel <laughs> of my first playthrough. Uh, so if you're interested in that, it's on my YouTube channel. And that is at exclamation mark YouTube. So if we're not new, we're not cute. No, you're extra cute. You're even cuter. Chaps. Noodle with like a Lord of the Quotes. A wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. It's a good one. That is a good one. I found that tunnel too early and got annihilated. I was not ready. Yep, same. <gasps> There's Evie! Evie's home. I love that the Shrimpies are OP when they fire their stuff at you, but when you get it, it's rubbish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look how close I was to dying. I wasn't even looking. Oh, that's Tom Bombadil. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, these- <gasps> oh. Okay, this prawn.
the second prune. I'm gonna say we're just gonna make a run for it, I think. And then get the grapes. Wait, what just hit me there? What just hit me there? Oh. Nigel Thornberry looking hot. You think he looks like Nigel? His nose is nowhere near long enough. This is Bobby. It's Bobby. <gasps> Today's end. The rats were munching on my bun. Well, at least it was tasty. What does Poise do in Elden Ring? So basically, Poise in all these games is your ability to... Um, so if you're in the middle of an animation, so for example, if you're in the middle of attacking, uh, if you have high poise and you get attacked, your attack will not be interrupted. But if you have low poise and you get attacked in the middle of an animation, you will be interrupted and it's a it's just a generally it's a bad time. Yeah, interrupt, resist. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it, yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> it's bad enough you're doing RL1, but you're naked too. Look, listen, I get one shot if I have armor on and I get one shot if I don't have armor on. So I almost think it's kind of funny not having armor on. I think if I ever get something that's like stat boosting, like for example, like that chest piece that does the jumping attack damage or maybe that hood that has the extra health, like that's, I could get behind that. Um, but at the minute, it's literally just like for defense and it's not giving me much of that, so. <laughs> Ew, look at all these smithing stones. This is great. Hi, Matt. Not sure how you concentrate on this playthrough with all that cake on your screen. And are you looking at Bobby's butt? Are you looking at my Bobby's butt? I should use a much better talisman as well. Oh, can anyone tell me where the ritual shield talisman is? I think it's in the capital. Oh, imagine if there was a skip there. That'd be great. Poise is a fool's game. If you build around it anyway, most bosses have attacks that will stagger you regardless of poise. Oh no, definitely. Um, you having poise a lot of the time, it's based purely on like what kind of armor you're wearing. So like light armor tends to have low poise, heavy armor tends to have high poise. Just look at it that way. Well, I'm dead. I think I literally just need to run. Oh no, I'll be back at the grace now. I don't actually want to be at the grace now. Why did I get the grace? Maybe I can sneak. How about getting Blythe's mask and just wearing just that for the maniac vibes? Do I have to kill Blythe for that? I mean, I have to kill him for the Rani quest line anyway. But I don't want to. Right, don't wake up the prunes. Don't wake up the prawns, I'm a sneaky bobby. It is in the capital? Hmm. Well, I have unlocked the capital, like we can go there. It's difficult not to look at his butt. Wow, you're all looking at my butt. I can't blame you. Shrimps are not tasty. <laughs> they are, they're just scary. Fab, oh, I almost got that thing. Right, so if I can get a- <gasps> What the- If I can get around here, I was gonna say, I can open up the ladder and that will make this a lot easier. Just don't die, just don't die, just don't die, just don't die. You don't have to kill him for it. Ah, uh, that is familiar. That we can get it without killing him. Wait, where is the- There it is, there's the- No, oh, don't die, don't die, don't die! Right, boom. There's the 
there's the ladder. Okay, right, cool. Oh, well, you guys are. So wait, claws aren't strike. They are. They are slash, aren't they? Okay, I'm learning. Hi, Ali. I am learning. I am rage. Oh, look at all these fives. This is great. What's in there? This is gonna kill me. Better be worth it. Wasn't worth it. Oh no, shrimpy, no please. Wait, I want that. I want. I'm, I will die for that. I will die for this. Baby, I would die for. Oh, I didn't even get it. Balls. Wolverine or Edward Scissor? Uh, Bulby. It's in one of the three towers near Rani. Oh, Rena's tower? Oh, when does when does Rena's tower open? They need to be bonked. Yeah, they need like strike damage. Oh my god, Ella Jazz. <laughs> I haven't oh, I haven't watched any Ella um Elden Ring yet. Ella. Ella Jazden Ring. <laughs> up near the up the hill near the tree that you climb up to get Golden Godfrey fight. That's, um, that's not too bad. It's just a parkour. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted the stone. I need to Google. Yeah, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's from following Rani's quest. Maybe it's like after you do Estelle. Maybe. Okay, how many stones did I get there? I got loads. Five? No, wait, I got eight. Okay, and I've also got five smithing stone sixes. I don't know how I got those. Remember getting it during Rani's quest line? Yeah, I think I'm gonna guess it's after doing Estelle. Like... Ah, do you know what actually might be better? If I go back to the trap chest, get trapped again, and then my respawn point will be in this um, hut. That might actually be better. <sighs> Maybe not though. My problem is like, if I get one shot by the prawns on the, <gasps> on the way up the ladder. Um, but I think if I respawn in the shack, I can get away with not waking them up. Like I can sneak, maybe. Hi, Chino. I'm not great. I'm afraid. I'm. I'm. I'm feeling kind of hungover. Oh, it's it's Salubis's rise. Yeah, it's. I know the one you mean. It's um, it's this tower somewhere here, isn't it? Hmm. Wait. No, this is Saluvis's rise. What am I on about? It can be reached by running and jumping up the crumbling part of the wall near the entrance of the tower. Oh, I just remembered that that tower down there, that converted tower, you can actually jump to get the thing you need. That's what I was getting confused about. I can't warp. Oh, I need to like find another thing to warp. You have this stealth spell? Oh, hidden body, that's like, Big intelligence requirement. Was the before the hangover part nice? Oh, chess, it was great. Fantastic. Vessi's rise? You are not calling Vessi a heckin' pervert, are you? Hi, CQ Cat, welcome in. We good, we good. Progress is not the fastest today, but... It's to be expected. <laughs> I've gone all the way around and I'm now in Celia. How did I manage that? I'm trying to find the grace. What's really funny is I think if I die in here, I'll respawn inside the tunnel. <laughs> going back to this morning. Oh, Vessi and that dinosaur. <gasps> but yeah, so Definitely, yeah, definitely Mozart. Like, Elden Ring over the other 
like from software games at level one you've got a lot of options for talismans that you can get and and there's lots of little sneaky cheaties uh sneaky cheeky cheesy stuff that you can do to help you let's get this wolf mask then we'll go back in that tower i didn't kill the dragon because i don't need to kill the dragon hi dude good morning good morning good morning there is an insane Loretta cheese, by the way, that I found the day after I was struggling on her. Where you basically break her AI, but it's probably fixed now. It's probably fixed, so it doesn't matter. Hi, Nestradamus! Did you buy your salt and sacrifice someone? I'll sacrifice your willy. Um... I did buy it. Yeah, it cost me like nine pounds. Oh, it's not been fixed. Oh, so good. So you like trigger the fight and then like go around to like where that big bowl was and literally just quit out. And when you load back in, she is, she does nothing. You can't stagger her though. Nobody hurts you knows willing. If you stagger her, she wakes up, I think. It's that sort of thing. That was the thing we were trying to do to God's skin, but couldn't get it to work. Is this Bly's mask? It is! Okay, right, Bobby's about to become a fuddy. That puts me to medium load. That's very sad. It doesn't make any sense for me to be medium load. Look at him! I'm really sorry. It, it, I'm probably not gonna wear it. Hmm. I do look cute though. Yeah, medium load just doesn't make sense. It was worth it. Oh, just to just to see him cute face. <gasps> him. Roar. It's only got one eye. Oh no, well the other eye's there. It's just a bit glacet looking. Bobby's about to come become a furry. <laughs> a wolf head and claws. Wait, if we go like no, not that one. This one. Rawr. 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 We'd rather you got rid of the weapons than the helmet. Wow! But my my two claws are a good time. What if I got rid of that? Okay, there we go. Right, we don't have Flavor the Red Means anymore, but we have a wolf hat. Compromise? <laughs> Even though Flavor the Red Means is really good. Oh, it's a shame I couldn't put it on my uh claw because then that would make it cold you can't have cold and heat cold and fire sorry. right let's see if we can sneak i'm guessing not i'm guessing they will see me i want a wolf hat well it wasn't that hard to get uh just do caddy manor and then loretta the boss at the end oh no don't wake up the prune don't wake up the prune and then after Loretta, you go to Celevis's Rise, and you just need Torrent to to uh, climb up there. We are here for the Bobby booty, like his booty, his tiny, like tight-fitting loincloth. Oh, sugar, we're going to Falling Star Beast. I would maybe want my Flame of the Red Mains for Falling Star Beast because I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm sure this is a trap. God. Oh god. Well, this sucks. Right, do we have a minute you open it open the door? Open the door. The aim of this run, all remembrances. It's not got an eyeball, so it doesn't have a face too. No, wait. It just hit the guy outside. Okay. 
Okay, this is a bit easier. early there, but it's fine. We've got, uh, those flipping rocks, man. Yeah, it was friendly fair. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Wait, he finally got rotted. Finally. From a doggo. <laughs> yeah. Good attempt. Yeah. Hi, Eric! Welcome in! Hi, Phoenix! How are you doing? Maybe- can, can you pet the dog, Maynards? I would love one. I love the falling star beasts. I think they're really cute. The wolf helmet is- <laughs> Is it? Hmm. Yeah, that, um, that, like, rock sling thing is, um, like, keeps- it keeps, um, <gasps> keeps t uh, taking me by surprise. Uh, what's, what was Zeno talking about? Sorry, season three of I Love Death and Robots was hit and miss. Oh. oh, okay. I did notice that season two was not quite the same as season one was. Hope you're having a great day. Um, just just hungover, but otherwise having a lovely day. <laughs> Blessings from the Air Tree Doge. Wait. Drazen, you've just reminded me, I literally have Bloodhound Step. It's a much better dodge than rolling. And I can't even pre-buff because... Because that guy. Where's my dog going? Go on, go get him. He's in, he's in the wall. You get away from my doge. taken a lot more damage by now. Oh, he's rotted! Right, dog's going down. I still have my bubble! <gasps> what? stone sevens from that one that's great <laughs> this was a triumph I'm making a note here huge success it's hard to overstate my satisfaction aperture science that was a smithing stone six uh, sorry somber smithing stone six and five smithing stone sevens. Now I'm still needing smithing stone sixes. So I'm just gonna quickly backtrack and make sure I didn't just run past any. That was really good. I feel like I'm finally like getting the hang. Kind of. Kind of. Oh, there's one up there. That's a 
somewhere? Oh no. Oh god. I cannot fight these guys. Oh, I'm gonna die! <laughs> Wait, grab the thing! Grab the thing, okay. That went around! The Much skill, very impressive. Oh, thanks. Oh no, it's a gold one, I need it. It's five, it was a five! That's exactly what I wanted, yes! Okay. So we can die and it doesn't really matter because I think I've gotten them all now. Um, Quick check round here. I hate these things, I know. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely think I got mo what? Mo no, there's another one here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got all these ones. <laughs> got that one over there. Is there any down there that I miss? Let's just go suicide. Did I miss any here? Hello, Mr. Brun. Wait, do you have low poise? Oh, oh. <laughs> there was another guy, I didn't see him there. They have low poise, so if I just keep attacking them, they die, but there was another guy. <sighs> I miss playing old Titanite. They had to change it somehow. Didn't they? Been the baby star beast. Now we can, now we can get the big one. I reckon. I'm glad that it's unanimous that the shrimpy prunes are annoying. <laughs> Because I've never liked them. <laughs> okay, now we can leave. <laughs> now we can leave. Um, What's next? Um, So obviously we've got the other one to kill. To get more stones. Uh, yeah, the claws are good. It's um, it's just a very different play style. The claws are good. Oh, let's do the poison manor. And get Millicent's prosthesis. Time is it? Four o'clock. Cool. So how do we get down there? I need to run all the way, all the way up this ravine. Well, that'll be fun. Unless you guys would rather do... Oh, do you guys have any suggestions for... Right, so let's think armor that has buffs. Uh, also talismans, what talisman? I've got that one. That's, I think this is gonna be really good for... Sorry, the one I'm about to get, the Millicent one, is going to be really good for claws. Because they're all about successive attacks, aren't they? Hi, Batman! Wait, Queen Rage? I was like a bit, I was like, well, yes, but, um, technically Princess, because Princess Zelda. <laughs> but yeah, time to get Thorny on main. <sighs> How do we get down here again? I think from, like, over here? From that side somewhere? Yeah, over there. I clipped your win, but Twitch is being annoying. Oh, I was so surprised, I think, as well, because I think he died of rot. So I was a bit like, oh, that's another thing as well. I can level up my rot dog and then he will not die so quickly. If we can get him a bit more health, that'll be really good. Now to do that, we need to find catacombs to find, that's where you find the grave warts. Ghost grave, no, I'm wanting, Grave glove warts is what I'm wanting. Yeah. I am a queen. Well, I try. I do try. Where am I going? Oh, I'm here? Oh, I don't. I got a bit mixed up, I think. Need to go this way. Here we go. Up the ravine. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's a painted map you have to read trying to make out where to go. I love the map. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it just, like on your first playthrough, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. It's amazing. <laughs> I love this game a lot. I really love this game a lot. Flippin', my, my soul's born nerds. Um, it's very easy to get caught up in the hype and say like, oh, my new favorite is Elden Ring because there's so much to it. There's so many playstyle opportunities and the side quests and the NPCs are so good, so likable. I'm gonna unlock this. Um, 
so good. But there are so many of the bosses that are kind of unfair. A lot of the double bosses slash triple bosses are kind of unfair. Whoop! Oh, it's a cave. Oh my god. He's, he's following. Bye! <laughs> um... Yeah, kind of unfair, where it's like, especially late game, I think everything past the capital uh, just gets tons of health and kills you in one hit, and it's a bit... Don't even talk to me about triple crystallians, because I'm not... I can't. I can't. <laughs> I just want to see what kind of number of thing we get in here. Number of... Oh, here we go. Smithing stone. Five! <gasps> Sorry? Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, the knights at the capital. Yeah, the, the um, the crucible knights, and then the what are they like? Other kind of crucible knights that have like the big spear. Cause they're cool. Seems fine. <laughs> Damn, it's four p.m. Let the weekend begin. Are they just called rot? Cause I know clean rot is like the guys with the cool armor. I need my club for, for these guys. He's sleeping. <laughs> the bosses are bring it down for me. So I think I like the bosses but a lot of the I think they focused way too much on trying to punish roll spamming and all of the really overly delayed attacks coupled with some having some attacks that are fast it's um it's a very punishing style that they've gone for with this but I think they were just too determined for it to be difficult for Dark Souls veterans that they've sort of lost a lot of us because they've just made it too difficult <laughs> and that's not me moaning I'm good at this game and I'm enjoying learning it it's me just looking at it really objectively I've got a lot of stamina for a level one character oh, 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 oh there's a dog there's two dogs where did they come from Can I get you to like jump off the edge? Wait, he didn't die because fall damage. I mean, that's one way to do it. I've been crowned Spectre, yes, I am the queen. No, I'm Princess Zelda. This was today's surprise. Every day, um, every stream, we have a stream goal and when the goal is hit, we have a surprise. And it's sometimes it's cosplay and sometimes it's um, other things. Just today it was cosplay. <laughs> All right, is this the no? Wait, acquire materials. <gasps> Another sniffing five. This makes me very happy. Okay, uh, where are we actually meant to go from here? The, oh god, the Crystallian Trio, I, just, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> they are a lot better than they used to be. They've definitely improved them. So those dogs just chilling somewhere now, down below. I think they're chilling. Yeah, they're there. <laughs> I think we have to go down here. We have to like jump off. Looking for smithing stones. We did, we got Draconic Tree Sentinel first try, Mozart. It was, oh, it, it took a long time. We poison cheesed him to death. It was, it was pretty epic, wasn't it? Oh, there's two! Oh my god, the reaction! Well, this place sucks. I 
I just want the stones, and then I'll be on my way. How is she alive? How is she alive? You're gonna explode those barrels if you're not careful. All right, okay, right. I got all the ones in this room. That's fine. I'm getting loads of stones. This is fine. This is going well. It is going well, Brados. It is. Hiya. <laughs> He wasn't feeling well and he went home. Yeah, the um, yeah, Draconic Tree Sentinel, he, he suddenly came down with a really bad stomach ache. And he had to go home, which was great because he got out of my way and then we could get into the capital and get those four golden seeds. <laughs> right, where do these doggies come from? Let's try and... Uh... Oh no, you're, you're gonna explode yourself, sir. You're gonna, you're gonna have an accident there. Instant karma. No, I no, I wouldn't call that karma. I sort of knew I was gonna die, but I wanted to get the stones first. That's the. F no. No. <laughs> like I don't mind just running in and dying and getting it because I just accept that that's gonna be faster than trying to kill everything. Right, it's a big, like that ladder comes back up here. That gets me down there. Uh, I went that way to get those stones. Hi, Sky. Happy Friday, it is the weekend. Oh, there's another one, I see another one. Uh, wait, there's one there. <gasps> I need all of these smithing fives that we can get because we can't get the bell baiting to buy them from the twin maiden husks until we do mountaintops of the giants. So that's quite far through, and now we die. <gasps> uh, okay, um, oh, nothing that way. Guess I'm rolling, guess I'm running. Is this where I went that I had the, <gasps> oh god, it's up, why did I go in? Oh, it's a giant, it's a sword digger troll. This, wait, hang on, there's lots of battles. Are you about to, Are you about to explode those battles, sir? My bubble! That was silly. <gasps> he has fire! I just did that with my fist, which um, I didn't mean to do. <gasps> oh, doggy got owned there. Okay, let's see what this does now. Decent, 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 decent. It's not got a high crit. Oh, that's the tantrum. like two quick stomps. Okay, I don't need to kill him unless, what does he drop? Friend or a foe? Definitely foe. <laughs> Definitely foe. Sky, yes, hello. Sorry, that was panic. I was literally just running through that whole cave. Just, just, and then found myself at the fog wall and panicked and went in it. I could probably get this boss. What does it drop? Let's find out. So he was a stone digger troll inside. Um, blah, 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 blah. Old Altus Tunnel. Excuse me. Sid has been really sweet. Permission to finish work an hour early to cushle kid. Cush, cushle? To cuddle kitty. Go on. Super monkey ball. Oh, me and my bubble. <laughs> Hi for you. Happy weekend. 
Right, let's find this nerd. Old Altus Tunnel. It's like here in the ravine. There it is. Okay, so let's have a look. Mm -mm -mm. Stone Digger Troll drops a great club, which I will nowhere near be able to hold. It'll be too heavy for me. So we don't need it. Did I just pick... Oh no, Steak of America. No, we're good, we can leave. I think, I, I'm pretty sure I got all of the... <laughs> Deliver boops. Aw, oh, Sid, is, Sid is a very good boy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There might be a, a stone there. Yeah, what I want to come in here for was the stones. We got loads of them so we can go and now level up the claws a bit more. Oh, this is just the crystals. I don't want the crystals. Even though they are cracked, and apparently being cracked is a good thing. I think it's a it's a London thing. Being cracked is good. <sighs> so you could say that those crystals were cracked. Because they are. Ow. Oh, yes, let's have a thing. So what are some armor sets, or armor pieces, I should say, that you guys have found that have... Um, auxiliary effects so other than obviously defense um maybe things that give more stats or things that make you do more damage stuff like that the only one that i found without much research was this raptor feathers um and that was to do with jumping attack damage which i don't think i'll do much with the claws, but then I mean it's it's something, isn't it? Yeah, I can't think of any off the top of my head. You've obviously I from doing the spellcaster builds, there's plenty of hats that give you more intelligence, which is I guess good if we ever need to like cast a spell or that. Oh hi! Oh you've got you got poise. Um, yeah, welcome to the next area. We're looking for Millicent's prosthesis. Millicent's prosthesis, which I think is at the end of the area. <gasps> wow, that cold propped really quickly with him, so he must have had really low cold resistance. <gasps> Crimson Hood for the one extra vigor. You know what? You're laughing, but it's it's better than nothing. What does this wolf helm do other than look really cool? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I need the butterfly wings, I do! Okay, so yeah, the mushroom helm we want eventually, but that's quite late on. <gasps> Nobody's Jane! Have a good day. This is how much I didn't realize armor helps with status stuff. I didn't... There were any. There's there's few. There's not many. Um, but there are definitely some. The dungeon imps have hats that'll give a little stat boost. No, they're too heavy. Yeah, you're right, Brenda. Mm. Oh, I do want that. Now I want the Dark Souls 2. I've always wanted to do Dark Souls 2 poison only because almost everything, in fact, maybe everything um, in that game can be poison. Oh my God. Even NPCs, I mean, especially NPCs. Okay, I'm learning that the perfume, the powder hits you and the explosion that the powder makes hits you. I've never actually tried rolling into it before. <laughs> Let's try getting with this. Yeah, there's one Mozart, yeah. Now I'll be back has more meaning. Um, but you're, but you're Brie, you, you're not back. <laughs> they actually are Mozart. Oh, oh well. Maybe one more and he'll stagger? Okay, there we go. That is always a valid tactic. Cool. Would that be a butterfly set run in Dark Souls 2? Mm-hmm. Perfumers can be rough. I think the thing is with them is that they're so, it's so easy to just go like, ah, oh, they're just, they're just like puffing, they're just puffing powder at me. Like how much damage can that do? 
And then it almost like... Oh, this was a troll! Flipping glass shard. <laughs> yeah, it's like you underestimate them. Just because just logically, how much damage can a little bit of powder do? That's what the cocaine addict said. Oh my god, he's got loads of health. Uh, school run done? And me papa just turned up for a visit. This is a nice day. Aw, it has turned out to be like a surprisingly nice day for me, considering how crappy I feel. Oh my god, no. Slugs? Oh no, it's those guys. You can't obviously ride torrent here because it's a legacy dungeon. I've actually forgotten how to progress through here. Oh, there's a little guy on a ledge there. I can't get up there. Oh my god, okay, fine. Um. <laughs> At least these guys don't like resurrect, right? It could be down to the cookie. Oh dear. <gasps> He's healing my ball bag! Okay, that should be him. Or very close to it. Yeah, that's him. Whew! Alright, okay, learning the new build. Uh, could probably do with a couple more blue flasks. Do you need to fight Elimer? I don't think so. I'm literally just here for the prosthetic, so I don't think so. Does he drop a uh, remembrance? No. I'd like to. I'd like to do all bosses, but I have to have some kind of rule. Um, for example, all remembrances um, on stream anyway. Just so I'm not like doing all 200 bosses. <laughs> Uh, hangover is actually getting a lot easier to deal with, Mick. I'm really just um, feeling really confident with the RL1 for the first time in a while. I feel like the claws are fun, even though I'm bad at them. And I'm just... Yeah, it's like mind over matter a lot of the time with a hangover for me. Like, because my, my stomach is sore. But... I'm happy because I'm having a nice time. And you guys, there's so many of you here today and it's so nice. I'm, 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 I'm really enjoying hanging out. It really helps. <gasps> I don't know if I ever found this. I don't think I found that painting. Oh, I love the paintings. Wait, how do we get out of here then? Right here. Ah, oh, a happy little accident. Yeah, exactly, Bob. <laughs> I actually think this is maybe not the only way into the um, legacy dungeon. I think there's maybe another way in and I've come a different way. Just like me, Brenda. <laughs> I'm doing stuff that you struggle to do at RL80. That's really hard to believe, Poshy, because you're like oh, the master. You've played this game like, I think out of our whole community, you've played this game, like, the most. I don't know how many times Thorn has played it, actually, because I know Thorn's, like, Thorn is going hard on Elden Ring at the minute. But I know Posh is on, like, New Game Plus 5 or something. You and Rach is doing stuff that I'm struggling with at Adel 150. Well, that's not a really, it's not really a fair comparison, Aaron, because, like, do you know how much of these games that I've played? I think it's unfair to yourself to compare, like, to compare you and I in the nicest way. I mean that in the nicest way, like it's unfair because it's like I've got a lot of experience. Even if it's not with this game, the other games, it translates. Is this where I just was? <laughs> this is where I just was. <laughs> Are you meant to go to where the painting was painted? Mick, yeah. Just watch the highlight reel and someone disabled plays Sifu with his left foot in his right hand. 
Mate! Sifu is hard. That's, uh, that's well cool. Not gonna brag, but I've never died in Elden Ring. Oh my god. Brad, Vicky. I'm not worthy. Yeah, I'm sorry if that sounded big-headed at all. I meant it from a place of, like, logic and honesty. I can't remember how I get in here. I don't think it's around here. I have in my head it's around the right-hand side. There's like a little hole there. Yeah, I think it's around the other side. Wait, 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 wait. I have been here because there's dead things here. Balls. I haven't died in Bloodborne. Oh my god. I didn't realize a dolman was out today. I don't know what that is. Just finished Capital on Journey 4 and killed Godfrey in 14 seconds. It was Godfrey, it was Gold Godfrey the Golden, one of the ones that we did with Comet Azure. Because that was fun. I think we tried Comet Azure, but it maybe I did it for like half of his health bar. That's familiar, yeah. Mm, okay, so we've been there. Let's go around this side. Maybe this rock here, maybe. First four hours at work weren't good. Got a colleague on my nerves. Felt it in my heart. After that, it was better. Oh, I've just done that again! Oh my god. And now I'm in combat, so I can't look at my map. Urgh, does anyone remember how to get in here? <laughs> it's driving me nuts. Hmm. <sighs> Wait, wait, oh, it's this way. It's this way. This is it. Wait, where does this go? <laughs> there was a ladder here? Did I just not notice that? Oh. How? How did I not notice there was this whole bit over here? Right, what do you guys do? You do the bells? As long as, oh, there are definitely revenants here, right? It might be time to start healing stuff to death. Um, let me go get my heal. I didn't see the ladder, Brenda, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm tired. Of all the FromSoft games, the one I haven't died in is Sekiro. That might change when I play it. So we're gonna get instead of poison mist because that is not gonna do anything here. And so actually instead of rot breath, I know what we're gonna do. Urgent heal is probably a really quick cast. Let's test it. Let's get both actually. Let's get both. Let's test. That wasn't very urgent. That took flipping forever. Is it just me or did they seem to take the same amount of time? I'm going with normal heal. That's crazy. That's a that's a rip off. <laughs> yeah, okay, so heal is my strategy for the revenants because they're so hard just to run by. Uh, oh my god, I need to like stop trading. Oh, you, alright, alright. Cool, okay, cool. Just, uh, just keep your cool. There's probably revenants around. <gasps> Scarf of Jerichu, hello! Hello, a heckin' loo! Oh, the slow death, the worst kind. I'm looking forward to trying Melania with this, Melania, Melania with this setup. I think it will counter her healing ability. Oh, the black blade thing. Uh, it doesn't counter it because it's the same thing that Tish did. Um, it definitely makes it more manageable in that you're sort of like always damaging at the same time as she's always healing, especially if you're blocking. 
Wow. Okay. Uh, I feel like this will be that game in a decade where someone writes an article titled 10 years later players are still finding things in Elden Ring. I hope so. I hope so, Destroy. Is it that urgent heal does the healer only but heal does the damage? I Yeah, heal had uh, restores health to you and your friends so it has like an AoE, an area of like healing effect. So that'll be the thing that we can e more easily better damage the ball bags with. Yes, for sure. What in the crikey? <laughs> oh my, all right, okay. So what I was trying with this build poshing is I'm going for status effects. So on one claw, uh, well, both claws have, well, sorry, sorry. One claw has cold and bleed. And then the other claw has uh, poison and I can buff it with bleed and fire. So the cold obviously builds up and then the fire will like reset it. The poison obviously can take away, allowing me like a little bit of breathing room or maybe to cheese stuff. Um, cold as well, like when something's frostbite, obviously that goes without saying. And it's got the like, I'm going for Mill Millicent's prosthesis, which, has the like successive attacks like buff on it so that's going to work really well for the claw because the claws are all about them successive attacks right it has been 86 years since ugh, since what in fairness i saw brad post that tweet about the mimic chest and honestly thought everyone would find them the mimic chests Oh, wait, do you mean like literally when the game first came out? I never knew. I never knew what to expect with the chests and that. I cannot remember my way through here. I know we need to get into like the main building-y part. And I know that over there is a uh, grace. I don't want to run into another perfumer. Oh, thanks for the lurk, Damien. I hope you have a, a good little trip. Yeah, give him the old one too. The denim and lace. Still amazed I haven't been eaten by a chest. I think they should have put one mimic with teeth in this game. Just one. Just a heck with everyone. Really late game. Is this where- This is where the Revenant is! No! No. I'm excited to try healing it to death, but... As a boss! Yeah! Yeah! A Mimic Sight of Grace? That would be cruel. I love it. Yes! Yes! There's three chests in the whole game that use the same model as the chest from Dark Souls 3. It's Dark Souls 1! Yeah, they're like proper old school chests. I've definitely found some. Okay, we're gonna try this heal thing. I'm scared. I'm gonna die. Does he teleport? I got so lucky there that he didn't just one shot me. Because he charged right at me and missed. <laughs> and then this guy missed. Is we bell? Is we bell going? <laughs> so this is the way to progress up this ladder. But yeah, that's how whenever we have to deal with those guys, we literally just a chin heal. And we are good. Seeing me happy makes you happy? Well then you must be really happy. <laughs> One of the Elden endings is to put the Elden Ring in a chest. Okay, you're, you're, you're spitballing, I got you. The actual game disc is a mimic. You thought it was gonna be amazing. 
And then what you actually get is um, a Crystal Triad Trio. Triad? Crist crystal Triad? Tri cri Crystallian Trio. That's what I'm going for. I could do with a better uh, physique thing. Strength. Oh, I need to look up where the Dex one is. Let's, let's write that down. Dex tier. I'm sure it's quite early on. I still have so much of this brownie. I've not had an appetite though. I want Elden Ring but with Monster Hunter style crafting and cutting parts. Oh! That is one thing I was really sad they didn't include was tail cuts. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Um, right, well. Death Stranding 2 is a thing. That makes me very happy. Elden Ring, but every enemy is the centipede demon. Could be uh, modded. Could be, it might not even be that hard. No puppies, please. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. DS2. Oh, Death Stranding 2. I'm looking forward to throwing my own literal poo in combat again. Someone, I read uh, or I heard a tip about the jumping attack. <gasps> Balls. It's to do with like when you're jumping, you like jump and then press forward. Apparently that means you aim better. <gasps> Ascended, that's for uh, Dark Souls 1, right? Or is it Dark Souls 3? No. Oh, this part. I hope I'm going the right way. <laughs> Wait, Elden Ring ascended? I know that, um, I know Lobos is doing something. Oh no, oh no. I know Lobos is doing something for charity at the minute. But I haven't had the chance. What is it? Dog, mod idea, Dutch was one, but Lord Gwyn is Macho Man Randy Savage. Nice. A friend once asked me to draw a centipede demon during nature or science class. I was like, nah, something else, please. Wait, what is with the what is the centipede demon hate? What's with the hate? <laughs> okay, I am. Okay, cool. He was playing that mod. It's hard mode. Wow, he always does that. He just jumps out at you. With new items and mobs and stuff. Bloody hell, okay. No, I haven't seen that at all. Sounds great. Elden Ring, but make it hard. Lol. I would argue, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna be a bit of an asshole here. I would argue that Elden Ring isn't that hard. <laughs> because of one thing. Spit it ashes. <laughs> And it's huge as well. But at level one, it can hack off. <laughs> I might need to take the wolf armor off, guys. I got stuck on the statue. I was gonna like faint. I was gonna lure him and then go the other way. But I got stuck on the statue. All armor pieces have passives. Oh, oh, that's cool. I need that in this. I need that in this run. Centipede Demon is the worst boss in Dark Souls 1. Worse than, because of the, because of the arena you fight it in. Do you think it's worse than like Asylum Demon? 
Or like worse than like pinwheel or like worse than bed of chaos? Oh my god! I'm literally like starting to roll. This is funny. He just always is 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 uh coded to just jump out at you. And because I'm running, he gets a crit, which I mean I don't think that's why I'm getting one shot. I'm getting one shot because I'm getting hit by anything. But it would definitely be a one shot if it was a crit. Mmm, bloodhound stab, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Yeah, I like Centipede Demon. He's cool. Okay. Right, we step. We step, we step. Very good. Now, where do we go? Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, where do I go? Oh, a clean run night. Oh, could do with a grace. Oh, I forgot how good Bloodhound Step was. <gasps> oh, look at this! Wait, is this not the way to the boss? And it fell down. This could be the way to the boss, which is not what I want. It is. Balls, where's the... <sighs> I've accidentally gone the right way. This game isn't that hard. I'm Gally. You know I'm making it harder for myself, right? by not leveling up. But if you don't do any of that, if you allow yourself to level up, if you allow yourself to use the most OP weapons, if you allow yourself to use spirit summons, if you allow yourself to use player summons, Elden Ring compared to Dark Souls 3, for example, excuse me, or Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 2 is so unfair in parts. It's really hard. Um, and you don't have spirit summons and the online is dead so you can't summon and i think like objectively elden ring is not that hard i told you i was gonna be an asshole about it i just that's my opinion yeah bloodhound step love it need to remember that i have it keep forgetting i have it um there are lots of ways that you can make it less hard yeah it's great it's great but yeah, please do remind me of that when we're fighting Melania. And do remind me that I'm really excited to fight Melania. Because I know it's going to take a long time. But we will finally get her and it'll be so good. There's the game and then there's Rodan and Melania. <laughs> the thought of playing Elden Ring and going through a boss fog to find the Cytopede Demon is funny. I agree. A boss dog. <gasps> Charlie's like Dark Souls 3 though. For the arm, back out to the grace, out the door you came in from... And you need to go back round to the right. Back out to the grace. Oh, I came all the way for nothing. Okay. <clears throat> out the door that you came in from. And you need to go back round to the right to the northwest corner of the fort. So it's like here. Thank you, Pmux. Thank you very much. I was going to Google that. You saved me. Dark Souls 3 is hard as boss. A lot more frustrating than Elden Ring. Mm-hmm. So I go down here around to the right. Mm, wait, can I can I land on that little? No, no, not a chance. <laughs> um, is it round there, around the side? Because I don't think I did go that way. I can't get back up there, can I? To, to find Turtle Bay. Oh, nice, Aaron. Oh, enjoy my chem as well. Enjoy, enjoy. That'll be awesome. Haven't finished the final DS3 DLC. Oh my god, the Dark Souls DLC is so hard. So good. 
I wonder how much time FromSoft put into modifying the game knowing that players are going to put restrictions on themselves. I think it's a big reason why there's so many things in this game that increase stats. I think because they know people like to do this game with limitations. Like, level one is like, I guess it's like sort of the most well-known, like, limitation. I, I, um, I don't know where I'm going. It's fine. Probably gonna die. It's fine. Oh my god, Sekiro dog. Actually, I take it all back. I think Sekiro, for me, was the hardest one. Easily. It's the hardest one. Elden Ring DLCs, I hope they're hard. Here we go. Yeah, I think Sekiro, just for me, the combat is so fast, like, compared to, like, how slow Dark Souls 1 is. Damn, he really went for that. I can go to the other Grace. I wonder if they have a playtester doing RL1. I doubt it, actually, because so many things hit you so hard that uh, I do not think they did much with RL1 in mind. Mm, no, I can run from here. I still think it's better running from here. Wouldn't be all surprised. No, I wouldn't be surprised, but <laughs> he must be, or she, they must be very good. She, definitely she, must be really good. Sekiro is all about decks. So Sekiro's combat is, oh, it's so good. It's all about, um, you've got three different ways you can counter an enemy's attack. You can block it, you can get stuck on the wall, uh, you can block it, deflect it, you can jump. Uh, some attacks can be avoided by jumping. There's also like a counter called the Mikiri counter where you, uh, if you get like a thrusting attack, like from a spear or something, you can uh, stomp on the spear and it does huge posture damage. So it's all about like doing loads of posture damage. Um, and then once the enemy's posture is done, you can do like a, a fatal blow type thing. Oh, it's really good. It's really hard though. I found it really hard. I know a lot of people just took to it like it was nothing, but I found it really hard. I was very proud to beat Sekiro. I never went back to it because a lot of the reason I love replaying these games is because you can choose so many different ways to play them, like different builds and like magic and different weapons and stuff, but Sekiro doesn't have that. It had no nothing that made me want to replay it. And that's okay. So I never actually got that good at Sekiro. I only played it the once. Uh oh, hello. Oh, he's sleepy. Is this it here? I think this is it here. Yes. Uh, will we die? Let's try not to die. Let's try and get out of here without dying. Oh, 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 oh. Noises. Noises. Oh, he puked. I thought the grace was here. Where am I? <gasps> I got out. I made it. I didn't die. I mean, dying wouldn't have really made much of a difference, but I didn't die. Good adventure. Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> So if I can get out of combat, I can go back to Millicent now. Give her the prosthesis. She'll be really happy and then I'll kill her. By any means necessary. We gotta be as powerful as we can be. By any means necessary. Guys, don't look at me like that. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Bobby, you're a bull bag. I'm still in combat. Oh. <laughs> Cat Dragon, thank you very much for the hundred bits. Thank you. I hope you like my uh, 
Very unique. 100 bits alert. <laughs> Let's go to Millicent at the windmill. Wait! Wait, no, she doesn't go to the windmill. She doesn't go to the windmill until you give her the prosthetic. Prosthetic prosthesis. What's the difference? Prosthesis. Prosthetic. I'm sure Sekiro has a pros prosthetic. Oh my god, this is hard. Why am I doing I'm torturing myself. Uh, she is round here. She's just here. Or maybe she was where that thing on the map was. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, she's just here. There she is. Oh, I love her. Her quest is fantastic. Now she's past. If you have done Melania and you haven't finished Millicent's quest, be aware you can miss it. So I'm looking at you, UJ. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. If the arm it might be possible. Okay, I can aid you in battle. So now she's at the Windmill Village. Windmill Heights. Google says while prosthetics refers to the science of creating artificial body parts, the artificial parts themselves are called prosthesis. Prosthetics is the the art. Sorry, the science. And then the prosthesis is the item. Okay. That's cool. I'll try and remember that. Prosthesis. It's the one that's harder to say is the correct one. <laughs> Wait, do I just, can I just kill her now? Oh God, I wanna be like 100% sure. I need to be 100% sure before I kill her because I need this item. I need you to give me that arm back, Classy. Can be obtained by killing Millicent at the Windmill Heights site of Grace after killing the Godskin Apostle. This is the earliest it can be obtained. Killing her at any point after this will also make her drop the talisman, including when you're given the choice at the redacted. Um, obviously, we will miss out on this what's this unalloyed gold needle can be used to ward away the meddling of outer gods oh that feels that feels ending that's the sacred flipping spooky ending isn't it uh frenzied flame isn't it The most difficult part of Dark Souls 3 is keeping the NPC quests alive. Uh, yeah, it's the flippin' Dark Lord ending. It was mental. Didn't know where she went, so I didn't ever progress her quest, and I already killed Melania. Ah, uh, well now you know. A lot of this game is like, oh, I made a mistake, but now I know, type thing as well. So killing her now gives, gives us the talisman. All right, I'm ready. Uh, oh, oh, you really don't need to thank us, Millicent. Hey, look behind you, a three-headed monkey. She has the Warfell Dance! Wow! Marks our fear. Wait, she's not gonna leave, is she? Well, she's badass. <laughs> it's Melania's daughter. Okay, hi! Hi! Wasn't expecting you to have that. Wow! Infinite boys! Doesn't give a crap! <sighs> Backstab's a good idea. Yeah, she has two, but not the third one. Uh, last sight of grace. Oh! 
poisoned. Oh, welcome back, Nathan! I need to kill Millicent now so I can get her a talisman. It'd be a really good upgrade for me. This game is full of people who are actually other people. No, she's herself. She's just, um, she's just Melania's daughter. <laughs> I could try going for more of the stagger. Um. With my, uh, I didn't actually get the backstab, did I? Ha! Didn't get it that time either. Leads. Oh my god, I'm alive. Oh, if I'd hit her, like, oh, because I knocked her out of it the first time, but it's because I hit her a few times, but I missed the first swipe. Wait, is she saying I am Millicent? I am Millicent, daughter of Melania. <sighs> Imagine if the other fight, everyone would have that attack. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh god, no. Oh yeah, I was gonna go for the- I was gonna go for the stagger. That's a good idea, I think. God, how, how, how? She, I cannot hit her. Wow, she's literally just. I'm out of mana now. Okay, cool, Gar. Like <sighs> Fighting people is hard. I will not forget what you have done. No, you will because you're dead. Um, I didn't want to kill her. I didn't want to kill her. Bobby! I didn't want to, please believe me. But now we get this which does the raises attack power, but also has five more dexterity. Huge. Huge. Hi, Evie. Hello, sweetie pie. Hello, honey bunny. Right, that was a big upgrade. Very happy with that. Uh, do I actually need to be using Marika's scar seal? How much faith was the... 12. Okay. Yeah, I do. The baby and the baby. She is hyper. Okay, cool. What now? What now? It's five to five. There must be something little that we can do. I could go have a try another go on the um, falling star beast. Oh yeah, I wanted to find the dext here. Oh, perfect. Let's go try and find the dext here. Um... What's it called? <coughs> it's 
Excuse me. Wait, let's have a wee look. Is strength actually better? So look, we've got, um, ah, dex B. Uh, this is dex D, strength C. Hmm. So now that I've got 20 dex, I wonder if the strength is maybe better. Hmm. Bless me. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it was a joke. I believed in you. Uh, it just... Just things are just gonna take me a while to learn. <laughs> uh, Destiny Not Crystal Tear is in Liurnia of the Lakes. On the scenic isle. From the site of grace. Which site of grace? I think it's probably one of these little islands. I think it's this one. Let's go have a look. And then we will equip that and then see. We could always test it. Test some damage. Got so many markers on my map. What have you guys got planned for this weekend? I'm going home. I'm going to a barbecue. Hopefully we get the weather for it. But another weekend not working. I need to... I need to do some Patreon stuff. Oh, that's going to be next weekend. Next weekend. So we probably have a bonus stream on Thursday. More Grim Fandango. That was so good. And then on the Saturday we'll have the hangout. Yeah. Full of lovely things for extra lovely people. It's true. It's true. Okay, well that was that was easy. Got that. Now I just need to equip it. The bubble, I need the bubble. Oh, also I can go and find the shields. Um the shield talisman now, that's gonna be good. When do you get your fourth talisman slot? I wanna say it's Godfrey. Is it Godfrey the Golden? Maybe we found a way to get the Series X, like tomorrow. <gasps> get a new heckin' Xbox. Canem's got a trip to the coast. Oh, that'd be nice. Again, I hope you get the weather for it. Eric, not much planned. Video games? Video games are good plans. Yeah, let's swap that for that. Actually, let's test it. Let's test it. So, something nearby I can hit. Not him. Wait, he's the one that goes Maricus tits. What are you looking at? Trying to start something? Wait. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, I didn't do the... I didn't do the quest for him. Oh well. Anyway, he's the one that says Marika's tits. <laughs> I want something I can hit. Someone close by. Uh, is there a giant? I wish there was like a training dummy. There's the dragon. The like dragon tail thing. Let's do that. Good idea. I'm not gonna kill it, but I just wanna like it, use it as a punching bag. A, t a training dummy. Oh my goodness, was gonna cut the grass again? Oh wow, poshy. Exciting. <laughs> Potato sounds good. Gonna eat some churros all weekend, Brio. All weekend. Okay, so. Without the tear. Wait, hello? Can I get some damage? Uh, what? I can't hit it. <laughs> is it the the range? Is the range on the claws too small? I just want to test some damage. Literally can't hit it. This is really weird. Oh, okay, right. No tier, 140. Wait, now it's doing 116. Right, 116. Um, strength crystal tier. 122. 122. Okay, now we go change to dex. Oh my god, that's depressingly little damage, isn't it? But that dragon's got big defense. It's been rainy for the last two weeks. It says sun this weekend, but what is? Oh, we've had really good weather. Busy weekend, last two weekends, so I'm doing nothing. I wish I could do nothing, Doggo, but it's just all, it's like every weekend. 
I've got something on lately. Gonna watch the football and avoid being hungover. Ah, oh, what? Imagine getting hungover, Mick. Who would do that? Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. With the leg? Wait, what leg? Where's the leg? I always went for the tail. Oh, there's the leg. I see the leg. Right, here. So this is, um, without. Wait, now it's doing 165. Wait, what? what? 136. What? I'm so confused. Oh, no, that's the subsequent attacks. Right, so. Why is it now 136? I'm so confused. Is my strength thing still active? Okay, it's back to 116. I don't get I'm not cut out for this testing thing. So this is the dexterity tier. Uh, can you, can you? 128. 131. Obviously that's the, I need to wait after every attack. I need the red to go away. Oh no, I got bleed! That doesn't count! 155? I am so confused. Right, I think a dex was higher. <laughs> That's so funny. I was trying to be really big brain and smart and, and figure this out. I think dex is higher. Dex feels higher. It feels like it would be higher because I've got more dex scaling. That's really funny. Oh yes, Poshy. A high octane life of pure exhilaration, but also I have four bloody gardens to cut and the grass is getting to that stage where I'm expecting to encounter wild Pokemon. You have four gardens? Is that like a back garden and a front garden and then like your dad's front garden and your dad's back garden? <gasps> Lamba, good evening. We were actually just finishing up. I'm finishing a bit earlier um, this week because I am driving home for the weekend and I'm super hungover. And I thought I would just go easy on myself and end at five o'clock. Is there a buffer initial hit? I've noticed with spells the first hit. Oh, cannab it's, it's when something isn't aware of you. That's it. So that first hit was always doing loads because the dragon wasn't aware of me. Yeah, that's it. So if you hit anything before it has seen you, it does 25%-ish uh, more damage. That's, that's it. That's why it was randomly really high. And then of course with my... Um, the prosthesis that I got it's uh it was getting buffed from that as well <laughs> okay today's been really good we didn't um we didn't really do much in the way of bosses but today was mostly about the shopping list and uh to be honest I'm proud that I did much at all feeling as crappy as I'm feeling I feel like I'm learning a lot about like how the game actually like works in the second time round as well so that's really satisfying i've got a million windows open just closing them all perfect okay so we got the dex tier i still haven't done the sages cave i don't know if i really need a jumping attack boost though i would definitely get that if i was running with the bloodhound fang that would be OP. So it's maybe worth picking up just for that. I think, guys, if it's okay with you, I'm going to do a lot of, like, caves and catacombs and, and mines and stuff like that. Just off stream. Um, I'm not going to do anything major, like, nothing exciting. A lot of it is just going to be me running around, getting some practice. Um, so there might be a couple mini bosses. If there is anything that you really, really would love to see, like, for example that falling star beast i will leave him we will do that on stream because we died to him for about an hour today so don't worry that that victory will be on stream um but yeah if there's anything in particular that you really don't want me to do like for example the like spirit collar snail or just something like that just let me know you can tag me in discord and i love to hear from you and um, plus it kind of shows me that you guys care which is really nice so like I, but if you don't care that's cool too because i'll just do it off stream and that's fine um I've still got loads of other things I can pick up, like I've got like the other tiers, I've got like the um, the seeds, the golden seeds from the, what do you call them, ulcerated tree spirits, those are kind of scaring me a little bit. But I think now that we've got pretty good bleed they should be okay. Um, smithing stones, actual stones, oh I should be leveling up my claws. Um, what else have I got? 
I've put here you can get Flame of Frenzy. Apparently I can use Flame of Frenzy, which is exciting. Oh, and the poison stuff. Bow? I never got a bow. I was going to get a bow today, but I, I will do that next week. Oh, I've already worked out next week's schedule, by the way, guys. Um, Next week, we're going to do... Oh, we're going to do something totally different on Wednesday. So Monday, we'll do more RL1. So if you're interested in seeing more of Bobby and his adventures, that's going to be on Monday night. Hey, X Master Noob! Tuesday, we're going to do more Metroid Dread because I was really enjoying that. So the continuing adventures of Miss, Mrs. Metroid in Metroid Dread on Tuesday. Wednesday, we're going to do something completely different. And hopefully it's good. If it's rubbish, we'll just play Elden Ring. <laughs> I don't think so, though. I think it's going to be really good. So it's a cooking game where I am the chef and Twitch chat are my cooks. So you guys play the game using the Twitch chat. And I've no idea how it works, but it's free and it looks really cute and really fun. And I'm all for like trying like a fun Twitch integration game. Just for a little change, because I know we've been streaming pretty much solidly Elden Ring for like almost three months now. <laughs> Wait, yeah, so it came out end of Feb, so end of March, end of April, and now it's almost end of May. Yep, yeah, three months of pretty much just Elden Ring. So we're doing something a little bit different. Yeah, Brad, you are on bread duty, 100%. The garlic bread, that's you, that's your job. <laughs> um, so that'll be fun, so that's on Wednesday night. And then on Friday, more Elden Ring. So hope to see you then. Um, we've got a Discord where you can obviously keep up to date with like news and stuff like that. And my schedule goes up on Monday mornings. Big announcements, that sort of stuff. And also just get to know everyone in the chats and share memes and Elden Ring fan art with me. Um, that's Discord. Um, I've also got Twitter. That's my main social media news posting website. I don't know why it does at don't reach quit, don't reach quit is on Twitter at don't reach quit. That's annoying. I get tagged three times in that message. So I've got that. Okay, but have a lovely weekend, guys. I will see you on Monday. Um, if Nikki is streaming, I think she is, then we can raid her. I think I know she was planning on it. Oh, she isn't? I thought she was planning on it. She maybe didn't feel up to it. Or she's maybe doing it later. She play oh, she cancelled. Oh, my baby. I hope she's feeling okay. Oh, let's go say hi to Sis then. Sis is playing a game called Witching Hour, which looks a bit like Amnesia. Oh, Sis is Brill. Sis is Brill. Let's go say hi to Sis. Sis is a fearless team luminary leader. Um, We've got a raid message if you want to copy and paste it in Sis's chat. It's this one here. That one will work for subs. But then this one with the wings will work for everyone. So copy the one that will work for you. Um, I'll let you guys get that if you get that ready to go. <sighs> um, something completely different, Brian. I already said it was like a it's like a chef game. It's like a cooking game. I can't actually remember what it's called. I think it's called like chef something. <laughs> but it'll be good. It'll be different. Uh, oh, I said wizard. Hello. I'm actually just finishing. But good to see you. I feel like Wart just got here too. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. I know we're a little bit earlier this week, but I've got a long drive ahead of me and I am needing a lie down. <laughs> thank you, Dave. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Have a good weekend. Uh, come say hi to Sis with me. Uh, thank you for lurking, Anna. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I had a really good time. You helped me feel better. So I'll, I'll see you Monday. Bye. Something happens. Oh! Why is that pig my man there? Oh! Oh! I'm going back in here. Rage! Oh my goodness me! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome on in everybody! How are you?